welcome to the crapshoot. Hey. Hello. One moment. I just got signed out of the... There we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. That works. It's all good. No. 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 We're not doing... That's not the script. Don't worry. Okay. No. I have Combination been... apple hat. Did yeah. you get rid of the... Uh, it's, it's, a, it's the... It's what's that guy's name? Oh, crapshoot, too. There we go. What's that guy's name? Pitaro? Pitaro? Picataro? Picataro? Picataro. I have an apple. Yeah. I have a pineapple. Pineapple napple. What is it? Pineapple napple? What? I don't no, know. It's, 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 he says, I have an apple, I have a pen. There it is. Apple pen. And he sticks right. the pen in the apple and apple, apple pen. Apple pen. It's not a. I have super a pineapple. Pen. Yeah. I have an apple pen. No. It's apple and a pen, and yeah. then he makes an apple pen. Yeah. Mm. And then a pineapple and a pen. Pineapple and he makes pen. a pineapple pen. And then he has an apple pen and a pineapple pen, and then he goes, pen, pineapple, apple pen. That's the entire song. <laughs> pen, pineapple, okay. apple pen. So, now that pen. we've got that, that... Now we've gone, done what now, we're not going to do. Yeah, now that we're all up to speed on... We're not doing any Pitaro ...Japanese jokes. memes. Uh, welcome to the Crap Shoot, where we shoot a crap. The Crap Shots are our long-running series of 30 to 60 second-ish mini sketches and uh on this stream we write and shoot and edit a whole one of them yeah all, the whole we're all gonna hit each other because we're both gesturing excitedly yeah all right oops um, no i need the power come back but uh yeah so last time we did this we did a crap shot that was too close to life apparently so no more close to life crap shots. Yeah, the, someone the, the password thing. Oops. No, no. Some I guess it wasn't last time. It was two times ago. Someone just uh, tweeted at me a story of a like an article from today, yesterday. Article from yesterday of a lawsuit from the family of a deceased man against the emergency room doctor who was unable to treat them because instead of the lawsuit alleges instead of asking other doctors how to do a procedure the the doctor looked it up on youtube did he get it wrong oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> like i so I, wrong i've seen like there are makeup tutorials that are hard enough to follow on youtube yeah right yeah like wow so uh yeah oh that, no <laughs> yeah <laughs> That and, was a crab shot that we did a couple weeks ago. And we thought it was a hilarious jack and ape that had nothing to do with reality. How yep. about Loading Ready Run wins the lottery yeah. as a crab shot? Yeah. Or... I like that the article, by the way, used is like a screenshot of like YouTube. And it's like the oldest screenshot. It's like someone made a file photo for YouTube once. Right, in 2005. Yeah, and this right. is like, it's running like Windows 98. Mm. Uh, it's like YouTube, broadcast yourself. Like the old, it's right, the right, old, right. old YouTube it's main page. It's got bought by Google. Oh yeah. Wow. It, it's, a, it's a portal back into a different era of YouTube, that's for sure. Um, uh, so, so that happened. <laughs> so I saw somebody in the chat mention, um, yeah, there's, there's the thing where obviously um, PAX East is happening right now. Yeah. And we're not and, at PAX. And often during, but often at PAX panels, there is like the crap shot writing. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what this. That's, that's what inspired this. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what this is. This is the crap shot writing and the crap shot filming that we occasionally did at the panels, but all together mm -hmm. in one place. Uh, YouTube YouTube was founded in uh, 2003, Three, I believe. Yeah. 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 Or four? 2004. Because we predate YouTube. Hmm. I just I just, I just remember that. Um, but yeah, I didn't actually get... Angry Optimist asks, could Loading Ready Run do Angry Optimist gets filthy rich and also becomes World King? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing is, though, that had already happened when we did the crap shot. We just didn't know about it. So... Yeah. Oh, 2005 for YouTube? Right, 2005. Okay. Um, okay, so... Ideas... I totally had something last night, and I can't remember what it was. Daki Makara. No. No. <laughs> we would need a prop for that. That's true. Daki Makara is like the, the, the cuddle pillow. Cuddle pillows. Cuddle pillows. Cuddle. I've seen some. I've seen some questionable merchandise online in the last couple of days. When a man and a nothing love each other very much. <laughs> well, actually. Oh, the Daki Makara. <laughs> Daki Don't you nothing? talk about my waifu like that? Uh, Omni Makara. You did find a uh, 
the those uh, actual cuddle pillows, the 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 Yuri on Ice, mm-hmm. like the spooning pillow that's like an L. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so it's like torso. It's like the torso and arm of mm. the guy, so oh. that you like. That's that's much yeah. less creepy. Yuri it's just a disembodied is torso. <laughs> very yeah. popular right now in Japan, and they are rushing out a lot of merchandise to um, capitalize on that. Turns right. out the show's yeah. way more popular than yeah. they were expecting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so now and so so now. There's a lot of questionable merch that has been showing up on my Twitter feed. People are like, look at this random <laughs> shit. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you don't have to defend the concept of merchandising anime. It's yeah. Pretty, no, but it's just like, do we have well to merchandise it like this? Yeah. Yep. yep. Suddenly, like the invaders in merchandise, where like there were girl flip flops, which is not really a product I ever envisioned anyone needing or or Jonah Vasquez like, even being brand, happy about existing. You can brand anything. Yeah, when I think Invader I, Zim, I think. Flip-flops. I mean, when I think Jonah Vasquez, I think bared toes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's there's like <laughs> old pictures of of like uh, in the '80s, Nintendo put Mario and Link on everything. Right, and there's pictures of like. Legend of Zelda ceiling fan blades. Oh, that's kind of baller, though. <laughs> Why? You can't. You can only see it when it's stopped. Otherwise, it's just a blur. What a weird. It would be awesome if it was like designed to show up when it when it spins. Yeah. Like those subway. Things. A couple of people have said we sound quiet. James, just putting it out there. Um. So. The 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 Ducky Makura thing. Oh no. Did make me think, but but the idea of somebody like being like super, you know, because uh, the idea of some somebody be like super excited about getting like yeah, like a cuddle pillow or whatever, and then it's just it's like you know a bag of broken glass or something. Like, it's a really terrible. It isn't cuddly at all. A really terrible piece of merchandise. That it's actually get. an angry weasel. The, the thing is, like the documentary, you really need like the the picture. Yeah, no, and I, we we we're not going to be able to generate that prop. No, I know. Today, yeah. order uh, a Doki Makura. Ashley turns out to just be a big bag of coffee. Oh. Like, that would be like Serge's like Doki Makura. Just a picture of coffee. Yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe we'll go away from the Doki Makura. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. We'll... How about a meeting where people pitch odd LRR merch? Mm. I mean, well, it's not a bad yeah, idea. That seems like an episode of Commodore Hustle might be. Yeah, that's yeah. actually a good idea for like a for an episode of Hustle. Yeah. Us we trying will, to merchandise we will ourselves. steal that. Yeah, <laughs> that one going into the file. Uh, Not even the round file. Where yeah. Normally, we put our bad in. <laughs> normally, normally, most of my ideas for things, I'm circular like, file. It's like, ha, oh. yeah. <laughs> that goes away. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. How about a deck box? Baby toy. We don't have. You're just looking door. at objects in the room. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> door. Cameron scarf nose. Noose. Yes. <laughs> Glasses frame. What about? How about something about the interior of my eyelids? <laughs> Appearing every couple of seconds intermittently. Um. What about some sort of hot new fashion trend? Like what? <laughs> I mean, Normcore kind of killed that. Oh yeah, you're Normcore. right. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, there's no way to make that funnier than real life. Oh right, yeah. Swamplore uh, reminds me of the at the beginning. Was it no? It was partway through Talking Simulator. The mm-hmm. get the switch. Oh yeah, get me a switch. Yeah 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 yeah. That was it. It was like the the. It's, it's not super funny. It's eating. You know, it's hitting someone. With a Nintendo Switch, it's the like, go get me a go Switch. Cut me a Switch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, go go fetch me a Switch, and they bring Nintendo just hit them with a Nintendo console. Yeah, it was it, a gag. It was funnier in the moment. It yeah. works as a gag. I don't know if it works as a whole. I, I, yeah, I think it was funnier two hours into Aliens Colonial Marines when mm. everyone's IQ is artificially suppressed. <laughs> Vaping Nintendo Switch cartridges. No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go no. Is it just because of the licking thing? I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, something's, you know, there, I feel like, like, we, we, we haven't acted, like, we did the, the, 
the crop shot that we released, you know, when the switch uh, pulled the switch, that wasn't actually anything to do with the switch. Mm -hmm. So we haven't actually done like a Nintendo Switch crop shot. So if, if we can think of something interesting to do with it. Oh, that's true. We did. We actually did that joke. We did the joke about the switch on Loading Ready Live. Did we? Which? I wasn't the, there. Uh, oh, no, no, it wasn't. Remember when we were doing the drone the drone shots? And there was like the, the Krogs list? Or the Krog, the, the Krog and Torg yeah. shot on the drone? But we actually recorded an actual one on uh, the, just on the phone and just tweeted it. And right. yeah, it was like... Something about routers, and it was like need you oh, need you switch, did, and I gave him a switch. gave him a right, switch. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a, that's also hasn't helped things because, of course, in the streaming office, there are multiple HDMI switches, right, and <sighs> switches for other things, and switches to turn things on and off. Mm -hmm. And now there is also a thing called the switch. Alternate flavors for the switch cart. What about karaoke? We're doing some Unsuc sort of karaoke. Unsuccessful hmm. flavors for the Switch card. Well, that was uh, when we were... This karaoke, I'm doing a I'm doing a karaoke song for my own choosing, which is, Cameron, stop singing Lady Gaga, you can't hit the high notes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, it, that's a sort of direct response to, 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 your, uh, to your previous choice of Kathleen. If you try to do 99 Problems one more time, I, we are no longer friends. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't think this necessarily works as a crap shot, but... It... Yeah, no, it's an entertaining idea. Karaoke yeah. burns. I mean, Combat I really, karaoke. I was really thinking A mysterious that. robed council that approves of someone's dating life. That's a robust pitch, Havoc 4. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That reminds me of the Banshee. Mm. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's different. It would be different, but that mm -hmm. just it just reminds me of the, the sketch we did, the Banshee, which I love a lot. Mm. The uh, the banshee does not wail for breaks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was good. <laughs> Mysterious robed council that decides what nerds are going to be mad about this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! The says Ill says GCU. The Illuminati. The uh, the the Illuminati. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's>, uh... <laughs> what was the Marvel series? It's not very good. <laughs> Sorry. Iron Fist. Iron G Dwarf Fist. responding really? to GCU says they said no more real life stuff. <laughs> <laughs> really? Huh. Apparently, apparently it's not not great. Apparently it's, it's not disappointing. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was stoked at the trailer. Yeah. Apparently Netflix may have lost the thread on how to make a good Marvel series. Well, I mean, they've already got three. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, you know, one out of four ain't bad. Yeah, no. I mean exactly. that's actually a, already that's a, a better good ratio. That's a better <laughs> hit rate than most television, yeah. honestly. Yeah, exactly. I was saying to Kathleen... Three, three out of four TNG episodes were good. That would have been really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah, saying to, to Kathleen fair, that, yeah. To be fair, in later seasons, three out of four were good. Yeah. I, uh... And even the first season has its own kind of classic appeal when you yeah, look right. back on it. Fair enough. I still haven't finished watching Jessica Jones, mm. uh, because... It's exhausting. Yeah. Well, I've heard... Luke I can't binge that show, right? Like, I watch an episode of Jessica Jones, that, and, and, and it's awesome and great, and then I need to go lie down. Well, I, I had heard, like, Luke Cage was already, like... The writers seem to... The review I read of Luke Cage was, like, the writers have forgotten that something's supposed to happen in every episode of a television series. Togashi Naruto says, Iron Fist isn't out. I'm talking about reviews for people who have seen it. Yeah. Uh, that apparently just compared to... Jessica Jones and Daredevil and Luke Cage, apparently, mm -hmm. based on critic reviews, yeah, it's not as good as those. I don't know. I the, haven't seen it. The Mysterious Robed Council does have a uh, is a nice sort of trope. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think I would enjoy something like Mysterious that. Mysterious Robed Council that decides on like Mysterious Robed Councils. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Like, the idea that there is a conspiracy behind, you know, fairly innocuous stuff that seems to grab popular attention. Like, yeah. nobody's actually in charge of anything. But there is a mysterious rogue council that does determine, like, basically virality. Yeah, the meme council. Yeah. We have decreed Harambe is over. <laughs> we have decreed... I would like Chewbacca it on the record. Mask woman is would, the meme of I would like it on the record that Harambe was never funny. <laughs> so noted, brother. 
uh, a mysterious secret society that is so secretive and couch and ritual that they don't know what they actually do. <laughs> uh, Isn't that the Masons? I guess. That was from Megapixel. Oh, yeah, the joke burial. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't... Were we burying your mom? I thought we were burying that's what she said. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's that what, that's what she said. Yeah. Dead, dead. LR is visited by the mysterious robed council of Twitch drama. You are now required to beef with another channel. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I can do kind of like, I do kind of like the mysterious robed council of internet drama. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you and this person and this person are no longer friends. Yeah. Uh, what? You decree that this, that, you know, this person is now beefing with this person. Rejected one, two Switch games. We could just upload that as a crap shot, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Let's go home. Um, Nurgle, that's a great question. I don't know who rotated the hamburger. James. I did. Oh, okay. oh you did? I came in one day and it was different. Yep. Everybody. Enjoy. I decided that it should be couch agnostic. Fair. I like that you have it facing camera, too. That's a yeah, good call. Yeah, it was important. <laughs> it Spin matters. the wheel of outrage. I like how people comment on our damn hamburger puzzle more than almost anything else in this office. People come in here and they're like, oh, hamburger puzzle. It is, yeah. it is weird. It's it's a very unusual thing. It's a it's, it's a conversation piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like yeah, usually you have the... a you have a coffee table book as a conversation piece. Our coffee table is the conversation piece. Rotate your, your hamburger. move. Rotate your coffee. hamburger every three months. <laughs> coffee table hamburger. I I like that. I think that the coffee table hamburger is a real nod to how stupid we are here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like don't get too many pretensions right. about this being a serious office. We have a hamburger puzzle. All right. Come shot about our coffee table hamburger. Uh, like a supposedly like actually somewhat valuable hamburger puzzle. Yeah, as it, it turns out it's like worth thirty dollars or something if you go on eBay, search for McDonald's Big Mac puzzle. It really ties the room together. <laughs> Does it? No. Maybe. I have no idea. I don't really know what ties the room together really means in that context. I like it from like a, a mm. harmonious decor point of view, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's you know, the big Lebowski. Well, yeah, but yeah. I don't know what that it, phrase yeah, actually yeah. means. <laughs> it was funny in the big Lebowski because they didn't really know what it meant yeah, either. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just reading the chat. There's a lot of different ideas going around. The Mysterious Robe Council, I feel, has legs because it gives us an excuse. Well, generally, excuse generally that's all you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, or do they? Maybe you don't can't even see their legs. Ooh. Yeah, but um, it gives me a chance to appear in a Snuggie. Mm. <laughs> We're assuming that we'll be it... using the, the the purple Snuggie. Yeah, I was hoping to have black. Well, we robes. do we do have we do have uh, a really good deep hooded robe. Hmm. We just have to. Um, uh, oh yeah, ultimate. we'd have to like. I mean, well, fake, we'd, like, we'd have to switch who was wearing it. In the Warriors of Darkness stuff, we have like three or four robes. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Because like most of the Warriors wore robes. Yeah. I feel like they got to be matching robes, though, is the thing, and none of them match. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you could have, like, everyone wearing different, like, obscuring black robes. Mm, I don't know. The McDonald's... And they're okay. mad that there's one guy I who's just got looked a different it up. One. This puzzle is actually worth $5 on eBay. $5? Oh, well, well hey, we got, it for, value. we got it for free. Yeah. So well, We're still know. up infinite percentage. Money in the bank. Mysterious robe council whose robes are all in the wash. Oh, actually, this isn't mint, though, like ours was. But Mysterious was, Robes... Was. Mysterious it Robes was. Council was. trying to decide <laughs> on the style of their robes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that... Someone shows up in a bathrobe and it's like, all right, look, no one told me they had to be Mysterious Robes. Yeah. You just said robes. Yeah. It's like, dude, we can tell who you are. We can see your face. Yeah. What, we're supposed to... Look, no, I got this mask. Now you just look stupid. Why can't we see... I know who all of you are. Shut yeah. up. Don't tell me to shut up, Gary. Uh, <laughs> no names. Well, how are we supposed to tell people apart? Somebody's using the robot voice mask, and it's like, look, ED-201. We know. <laughs> Not fooling anyone. Hmm. What about... Who 
You know who you are, Doug. Skyler. Uh, Deep concealing hoods. I feel like in the real world, hoods are never quite as concealing as they are on movies and television. Mm-hmm. Well, because you need to be able to see out of them in the real world. Yeah. Yeah, but like a hood has to be like really far forward to have your entire face in shadow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What about? We do a, have one of those. Yeah, yeah, we do. It's like the one the, the the brown Jedi robe. What about somebody who like they're looking at their matches on Tinder, mm-hmm. and they're like, hmm, mm, I don't know, mm. right? And then it's like, I don't know. Why don't you? You know, and it's like, why don't you summon blah? And he like literally just sort of summons a like a mysterious masked robe person and so it's one person rather than a council so we're not worrying or we can duplicate them in post even mm. so it's like three identical people we can film it on the green screen mm-hmm. and do like a greek chorus thing wait didn't we have a greek chorus joke for like something worked out like forever ago, for, forever yeah. ago? don't worry what's, about it what's the tinder part I don't know, just like something where you have to summon. I did kind of like getting running your dating choices by the mysterious robe council. Because, hmm. yeah, the thing is, if we wanted to do the robe council on green screen, we could do it that all of us were in the same thing, and we could just film our parts separately and then put it together in post. So it would kind look like, like we're all wearing the same mysterious robes. Which I just think... do that 70s show whip cuts? No, no. We just layer them together. Hmm. Um, and, uh, like, I just feel like... It's better that the council looks homogenous and creepy mm-hmm. from a visual point of view. But what are they talking about? Ah, recycling policy. Recycling. It turns out it's just your strata council. <laughs> to be, I will say. I would like to point out that your curtains yeah. are in violation of our covenant. I, w- I will say, uh, okay, like in my balance. condo, there are way too many different bins for recycling. There's no possible way there are actually that many different things. Like, they definitely get all put into one bin at some point in the process. <laughs> in the recycling process. It was a, like a Simpsons gag I'm where it's pretty like sure all it's these a make like work, 80 different like, a make recycling bins thing. and they all just get thrown into the same truck. Probably. Um, it's definitely like a make-work project for someone. Yeah, well, it's certainly, I know certainly in our building people are ca- incapable of reading the the posted signs that are on two walls that say tetra packs are not recyclable they do not go with this stuff mm-hmm. they do not take them you can recycle them at your like but don't mix them in here and then every week it's like tetra packs everywhere right monsters i know but yeah i there i went to i was at one recycling place that actually was like it's like can there's like cans but mm-hmm. then they had like different things for like what was in the can what you Really? They should yeah. be rinsed out. Yeah, but there was like, if it's like, if it was like, I think it was like, if it was like a meat thing in the can or was it somewhere else. Then I, Jesus I, Christ. It was complicated. And it made me confused. And they had like three people there telling people, like they had to have a bunch of people That's there like, telling people how to work the system because it was so complicated. Do you remember when they reopened the Hillside Food Court and they had like the extensive oh, yeah. like... Yeah, the, recy- the... Uh, the recycling stations for like compostables and non-compostables and or, and like organics and blah blah blah. And now instead of that, those stations are no longer open to the public, and there's just the attendants. They've yeah. got more attendants who work at the food What's... court who will just sort that for you. Yeah, that, I mean that was because they had. They, I mean that's the, that's always the problem, right? It's like I'm not dumb, but I don't know compostables this... versus organics. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what they they need to <laughs> they need to have a legend of like yeah. these are the things that you could theoretically have been given in our isn't, food court. It's like, mm-hmm. isn't and pa- this is the bin that goes in? It's rather like, than just like figure it like, out. Isn't paper organic? Yeah, <laughs> paper's compostable, right? Or is it organic? Yeah. Um, anyway. Do you remember when we were in the the hotel Arietta in Osaka and they were like. Oh, you can sort oh, yeah, uh, yeah. breakfast waste into breakfast waste into burnable or non-burnable. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's what? burnable if you try, right? <laughs> That's what we said. I was like, "What's not burnable?" So Graham and I were like <coughs> mesmerized or like terrified, like petrified with fear over the thing. And eventually, I was like, "Okay, this is simple. I'm gonna open the burnable garbage can because there's a foot liver, and I will put in things that match what I see in there." 
Because I'm sure Japanese people know how to use their system. Right. So I opened the burnable can, and it's just a jumble of everything. And I was like, oh, is just everything burnable? And then part of me was like, wait, open the non-burnable can? The exact same cup. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I no chem- one knows how to use this system. In Fine. the chem lab, you had, like, garbage waste, which was usually empty because nothing went into the garbage. There was, like, sharps, which was broken, like, pasture pipettes and glassware. There was organic waste okay. and inorganic waste. And the difference was that inorganic waste was incinerated at a higher temperature than the organic waste. Mm. Also, if you put, uh, say, if you put uh, one in the other one, sometimes it would explode. So, oh, you know, because occasionally if you poured something with nitric acid into the waste that had toluene, you would make trinitrotoluene. <laughs> Great. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't do that. No. Yeah. I, I stayed at a place one time. Uh, we stayed at a place for a vacation uh, that they had, there, it was like a farm mm-hmm. and they had pigs. Mm. Uh, and so it was real simple. It was the like compostable is stuff that you can feed to a pig <laughs> because they'll basically eat any like yeah. food type stuff. Yeah, right? I, I remember so, that. Like, but not paper, not, but like, not like paper yeah, and stuff. It's, it's like it's in like Snatch. A... You don't feed them hair or teeth. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, don't yeah. do that. Anyway. I this did, is all Somebody in chat did say a series of increasingly esoteric recycling bins. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. We'd need those bins, though, wouldn't we? Yeah. I mean, we have a large collection of our own recycling bins here. Yeah, we have five. You can't see it right now, but off camera here, we have five bins. And we've got paper, then, like, uh, recyclable uh, uh, metal and glass and plastic that's not returnable, mm-hmm. then returnables... And then soft plastic, so like paper bags and saran wraps and stuff. Or plastic bags. Yeah, paper bags, yeah. Sorry, plastic bags. Uh, and then one for other, which is like foil and foam and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And uh, I tell you, this is a much more... You know what the irritating thing about, like, obviously this is a... I don't think this is, this is a particularly fruitful field of exploration, but uh, I think the reason people have so much trouble with recycling is because every system is different. Yeah. Because there's so much stuff you can recycle, but most places aren't going to like actually give you the delineated bins to actually do the recycling. Mm-hmm. So the recycling at our house is different from the recycling at our office, which is different from the recycling at the mall. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Portlandia did that bit too, didn't they? Yeah. With the recycling bins? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a very Portland thing. It's a, uh, so yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I don't know if we did like different recycling bins. It's not really... What was that joke we were Crap making shot, but... when I was playing Zelda the other day? About, uh... It was like you just looked like a... just looked like a barista from... What the hell was... It? Oh, it was right! When you had that no, head... That was un- head. It, it, it was just while I was playing Zelda. We were talking about wrestling. <laughs> Sorry. It was unrelated. <laughs> It oh, was, yeah. Is, we were talking Baron about, Corbin yeah, looks like a barista when he's not Yeah, we're wrestling. talking about Baron Corbin. When he's not wrestling, when he's just on like the talk shows after <laughs> wrestling, he just looks like a, a barista from Portland. Because he, he's just like a big guy with tattoos and a jean, and like a jean vest and a toque. Right, right, right. And it's, he just looks like some sort of metal guy. <laughs> he, like, he doesn't look like right. a wrestler. He's, yeah, he's, he's just pati- like, hey, like, what's up? He looks, he's not particularly like menacing in his body language. Right. Yeah, mm. yeah like I remember looking at, uh, Where what, is, what's his name, who plays Drax? Uh, Batista. Oh, Batista. Batista. Yeah. Right in the rest in, in the ring, he doesn't look particularly large. And then you see him next to human beings. Yeah. And realize that he's actually just square. Yeah. Uh, he, he's he's a just a cube of beef. Yeah. It's like you know, Ultimate Warrior. You would never, you know, think that's a guy who's probably just a barista. Yeah. Well, you and Adam got your picture taken with Xavier Woods, mm-hmm. who is not as tall as you and Adam, no. but is literally as wide as you and Adam put together. And he doesn't look like a particularly large, muscular wrestler. No. Yeah. Uh, he is very there, cut. There was, very that, there was that idea that, uh, that, that first somebody, I forget who it was now, but somebody in the chat had of the, the idea of the, like, uh, the Muppet... Um, uh, uh, re- lip reading, one that oh, he s- yeah that he swore was already right. a crap shot. Yeah, <laughs> there was someone in chat. I can't remember who it was, but they were like, "I can't find this crap shot," and described it. And okay. everyone, including us, were like, "That's not a crap shot." And they're like, 
it must have been because I only watch you guys. And we're like, that doesn't, it's not something that we've done. It sounds great and we would do it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was, uh, it was like two Muppets on a stakeout. No, no, it was someone on a stakeout watching Muppets. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. And it was like, like if only I could tell what they're saying. It's okay. I can read lips. He's saying, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> And that's the bit. And right. it's like, that totally... Right, Comrade Barrack. That totally sounds like a crap shot that we would do. But we've never done it. Is that like the uh, the movie Shazam? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, with, where, where Sinbad... Where, Sinbad plays a genie. Where Sinbad plays a genie, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about... Uh... I do like the... the I. I think the council thing still has some That's potential. That's definitely the most legs yeah. of anything we've I mean, done the, here. I mean, the like this is def- this is the longest it's taken us to get to a <laughs> to get to a script on this. Even to a nugget, we don't even have a nugget of an idea. We're so screwed. <laughs> uh. The um the like I mean I guess the combination would be like the I mean, council coming up with new ridiculous. What about what about the uh, intern recycling things? But what about? The intern council? Yeah, before you can serve on the actual council, you have to get an unpaid internship on so, a lower rank council. This is sick. That decides some... Exhausted Elox. Hey, Paul? Exhausted Elox is saying the same thing. This is unrelated to Crap Shot. Are yeah. you aware there's no times on the streaming calendar? Uh, yeah, we are so, aware, but... That, we can't reproduce it. But we can't reproduce it. A bunch problem. of people have been saying this to us, but so, we've been I guess in I multiple browsers on different computers. We can't reproduce that. this error, so mm-hmm. I don't know what's wrong. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, sorry. Okay. We're looking into it. Uh, Continue. The intern council, intern shadowy council, okay. the unpaid internship one, where you, before you can move on, you get you know exposure, experience working on shadowy councils, deciding on, you know stuff nobody cares about, mm-hmm. right? Kind of like there was a whitest kids sketch where demons who are bad have to go into Ouija boards and right. answer like divination questions from nine year olds, right? <laughs> Huh. What about a shadowy council? No, I, wait. Sorry, I like the yeah. <laughs> yeah, so no, I'm the shadowy council of unpaid interns. You know, it's like brother whoever. You know, like I have, I have done so many hours unpaid whatever, and I got exposure from this thing, and everyone's like, ooh. Yeah. You know? Or, or it's like I, the council that tells people whether or not they should send dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but wait, <laughs> are they rubber stamp? Are they a? I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> they're 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 a shadowy. Or they're the interns for to be a shadowy to be the full they're shadow practicing council. Practicing to be yeah. shadow cancels. So they're, they're not. It's not necessarily like people. Science. It's not like just like made up of people who are interns for other companies or whatever. I guess the idea being that they are they are people who are in training to become a real shadowy council, mm-hmm. but they don't like, get any of the responsibility. Yeah. Of a real shadowy council. Yeah, or they're just advising on stupid things. Mm-hmm. Look, I had to move to London to get this position. <laughs> Exposure for a secret council isn't that counterintuitive? I like I like that idea, but I think that, that might be too much set up to jam into a crap shot, mm. where it's just like get in, get the joke, get out, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not saying it's bad. Just is there no, a way yeah, to get there faster? Yeah. I'm hearing what you're saying. I'm throwing it in the round filing can. <laughs> there was a there was a suggestion in chat with like, uh, sort of like a break room, for people from a couple different shadowy councils. Ooh. So there was like one person from each of them just sort of like hanging around with like their hoods down. Hey Sam. Yeah. Hey Rolf. Hey. You know, be like, how's how's your how's your shadowy council going? Not great. Mm. They replaced, not... they replaced the light bulbs with... Do you... I wish we had a water cooler. Wait, is there a water cooler in the building? I don't even think there is. I think there is, actually, in the... There was one. Old... I know... I can go look for there it. There was one by the front door at one point. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if it's... They're usually there. rentals, though. I right? think these belong. Okay. The, um... We, we just got through planning the war, but, you know... That's like... Uh, Shadowy how, council how problems. Uh, this is a great, by the way. This 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 is a great. Uh, this window. this crap shot, with or this crap shoot with the la- compared to the last crap shoot. This is how writing goes. Sometimes it's like, fifteen minutes. Like we immediately know how it's going to go. Boom, done. And sometimes it's like, 
so many potentially great ideas that just aren't quite there. Yeah. yeah. What about like it's like oh yeah we're uh, well we just got done planning a war. It's like really oh no a flame war between two Twitch users. Did you know De Shame Granny eighty two is a mortal enemy of like no no nobody should nobody cares. <laughs> is this hoping to be like a butterfly effect thing? <laughs> like, hey, how's the council of the nameless? Oh, not bad. How are things on you know, the shadow council of whatever? Casual Friday. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> somebody summons a sh- like a shadow council of demons. It's just like that's like what the. Like, it's we casual do, Friday. <laughs> we do have like a separate hood. I'm just thinking, I'm just imagining like a guy, somebody in like a polo shirt and jeans mm. with like the black hood on yeah. as well. <laughs> just the hood. Yeah, just the hood. Because it's still, you know, you have to be hooded and scary, but it's a casual day. Mm. Or just that, like, yeah, maintenance came and replaced yeah, all I the like light bulbs. Yeah, I like that too, Sorosokar. With... I find it, I also find it really funny that all the shadowy councils meet and like share the same office building. Yeah, it's it's an incubator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a shadowy stu- shadowy council startup thing. Mm-hmm. The Wi-Fi is free, and there's Korean barbecue downstairs. Yeah. It's literally just a startup that's here. Or an incubator that's here. Right. We don't know what they do there. Yeah, exactly. Maybe they rent space to shadowy councils. I mean, some of the build, uh, some of the company names on the side could be shadowy councils. Hmm. Uh, I just don't feel like the shadowy council idea is yeah, quite there. No, yeah, I, I agree. Like, they're good, but they just, like, to get the point across, there's no way to just, you know, it's... Yeah. <laughs> it is literally the best idea we have. They think they are the puppets, but little do they know, we are the puppets. Takes hood down, it's Gib Honk. <laughs> no. Bookshelf. That made me laugh right back, back gaming. Thank you for that. Oh, geez, thanks, Metric Furlong. Check the uptime. It's been 40 minutes and we've got nothing. Oh. Cool. We hmm. should keep an emergency envelope. Of a serviceable crap shot idea. <laughs> That's a really good idea, actually. I mean, we have a whole Trello full of crap shots ideas, but mm-hmm. the idea is that we're coming up with it here. Yeah. And sometimes that don't work. <laughs> Blue Mechanic just says, monkey tennis! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like, I like it. it. I like it. <laughs> what about waffles? Ooh, we could go for waffles. Oh, man, let's go to West Coast Waffles. Yeah, bye, everyone. <laughs> the Weapon 5, Horizon Zero Dawn. Well, we, we definitely... Those Not are the only... We, 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 uh, all four of the Weapon Crap shots are the only ones that we shot. But we've already thought of, like, other yeah. companies or, or entities that could work if we wanted to do more of those in the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the baby's not here today, so there's no Baby Plays Magic. Sorry. The magic one would be interesting. Crap shot about Muesli. <laughs> Why is that so it's funny? hilarious. I mean, I like muesli. It was that Douglas Adams thing where it's like muesli. Oh, hey. It's a thing we feed to goats. <laughs> I think that was Douglas Adams who did that. Comrade Barrick, check out the. Uh, oh, it's five second films. Oh. oh. You found the the puppet thing. There we go. Okay. Yeah. 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 Papper, or not Papper slapping. Who linked to it? Uh, it's gone. My password Epsilon found the... Oh, the, the, one. the it was a, Yeah, right. it was a five-second films. We could always do would... something like where we're having an impossible time coming up with an idea, and it's like, all right, break the emergency vault open. Oh, that's and a good we, idea. And like, open it and read it, and I'll start laughing, and then the reverse is that it's just a broken nitrous canister. <laughs> or no, it's like an envelope. We just open the box, like the secret emergency box of crap shots, and there's nothing in there. We're like, it's the si- a little a little piece of paper that's like, I, I- yeah, I owe you one crap shot. <laughs> yeah. Please, please refill. Yeah, please use. refill. Yeah. I, or like, I, is that a Simpsons shit. joke? 
Probably. Uh, I mean, what that's about... that's that's not grounds to not do a joke at mm. this point. Yeah, that's true. They what don't, about, they that, don't, that was the emergency donut one. They yeah. don't. They, yeah, they don't get to have a monopoly on all jokes. The uh... what about what about like uh, what about like it's just like or just or just be like read it's like ooh. Oh, we cannot shoot this. Yeah. Oh, this was definitely a joke we made in 2006. <laughs> what about something where it's like... Donald Rumsfeld. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like a really bad topical political joke or something from five years ago. Yeah. We should change out the thing that's or in like this box more Or like it's even older, often. it's like a Jimmy Carter joke. This is like... <laughs> yeah. Who wrote this? <laughs> Did, this you joke go is back from 1979. Yeah. Was that a Haldeman joke? Coney. Wow. Coney 2012. Did we ever take down the Coney 2012 sticker from oh, the old mirror. moon based mirror? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I think it's still there. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not there now. Yeah. No, I'm sure the the the, the new people have moved in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the old moon base got rented out inexplicably. Oh. What do you mean inex- inexplicably? I mean, the building was totally fine. It's just, it was so... I guess they didn't see all the gross things that we did in there. I assume they cleaned it. <laughs> um, um. Do you think our landlord ever looks in here? Because he's been to our new office a few times and is wistfully like, Oh, look, they can clean this office. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what the hell happened. He was once. just here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do you think he's ever like... Like, Probably not. No. I I do like the idea that we're like okay, we're forty minutes into the crab shoot and we haven't written anything to the bolt and there's like this ridiculous to the to the emergency idea bolt and it's like this ridiculous like there's montage of unlocking something and pulling up a box and blowing dust off the top and then like getting like a retinal scan and like giving mm. it a drop of blood and like all of that stuff and it's just like the, the problem way- is we only get to do this once. And this is like the sixth crap shoot ever. I know. Mm. Yeah, I do like the punchline being Coney 2012. <laughs> God, that was five years ago. Yeah. Kingdom's Amalur joke. <laughs> Wow. We're just, it's like, well, yeah, well, we, we, yeah, we can't, we, we still certainly, can't, we still can't film this. Yeah, we, Muesli, the whole story. We certainly did put a crap, we certainly, it's like, Coney 2012, well, I guess we haven't touched the vault in five years. Yeah, it's like, this was unfilmable even then. This wasn't funny, this wasn't funny in 2012. This was never funny. Oh, wrong vault. <laughs> just a shit crap shot. Yeah. <laughs> Shitty. Oh no, we we opened the yeah, shitty yeah, idea. Yeah, pan hole. upwards to the door, and it's like, yeah. Only shitty ideas. Yeah. Via way vault. <laughs> oh, wrong one. <laughs> Why do we have two vaults? This is also a good idea, but might be better served in like a Commodore Hustle. Yeah. I don't necessarily like the idea of crab shots being that self-referential. Mm. I do like the idea of we have a bad idea vault. <laughs> it turns out that that was just the path to the garbage can. Why is the garbage can behind six layers of security? We're trying to encourage recycling. recycling. <laughs> no! We've come full circle and we're still not any closer. I like how Graham and Paul have given up on this conversation and are trying to think of ideas separately from us. Yep. Yes. <laughs> I'm going, your I'm, conversation isn't actually helping anything. I'm going back to the secret... I'm entertaining our viewers. You I'm going guys back speak... to the secret vault of shadowy figures. Or the secret council? The secret vault of shadowy... What did I say? Jesus Christ. The crab shots, they're collapsing. Oh, don't worry about it, Comrade Barrick. I think it's really funny. Um, what about... Somebody, I mean, there's somebody, like, arriving late to the meeting of the shadowy figures is always fun. Somebody, I think, not... Uh, I'm trying to think of something that's sort of... Different kind of thing to do with that. Maybe something about how PAX East since that's happening right now and you couldn't go. Eh. We're already bummed enough. 
to not be there. Someone arriving late to the wrong shadow council. Yeah, show up to a, go into the wrong meeting hall and you just find a group of people fixing sports scores. I mean, that's like, you could do, you could have like the, you know, like, so it is agreed then, we will do whatever, like, legit evil thing, and then like, yes, yes, brother, excellent, mm -hmm. you know, and then third person's like, I, I, I'm, I'm at the wrong shadow council? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, this doesn't sound like the one for something totally innocuous. Yeah, it's mm. like, it's like, yeah, wait, wait, you aren't, uh... You know, but sorry. Yeah, I was here to fix video game scores. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, maybe not. No, I like that. I like that. My only concern is that we still don't have enough like identical outfits to make a shadow council like. No, no, no. That's fine. We can use the robe we have. We can do. We we can um. We can whip from one person to another. Mm -hmm. And Literally, do that seventy show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we can do the cut on the whip mm -hmm. to the per person wearing the same robe. Yeah, okay, that's. Can fair. we whip to one that's just like the obelisk? <laughs> Hello, remote only or audio only? Yeah, it's it just I was just thinking like like yeah, it's like wait, I mean you're not uh you know whatever some weird. I I was here for the council of the nameless. Council of the nameless has this meeting room in two, twenty minutes. Yeah, we're oh. oh, sorry, I was on a plane from from Mountain Time. Yeah, I was yeah, I sorry, guess. I was flying in from Des Moines. Yeah. And I I must have got my my watch didn't update. I am sorry. Is it daylight savings this weekend? Yeah. yeah oh yeah. Uh, no, that that explains it. Yeah. yeah it sorry. is now. Yeah. That was the, that was the previous <laughs> council that yeah. decided that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like that. That's, yeah, that's that good. actually works. Okay. Okay. How do we? All right. How do we start this? What's the What's the actual evil thing? So it is decreed then. Yes. It's something. I, I like the idea of going with like some Star Wars Episode Nine. We'll finally revisit Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> no, like actually <laughs> yeah, evil. That not, is evil. No, not nerd lol evil. Actually yeah. evil. Uh. It's so hard to make an evil joke nowadays, though. <laughs> uh, the great demon of Chagagluth, or something like that. <laughs> the chat's like, that's too evil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dispersal of the sterilization drugs will begin. Uh, hmm. Like I like more like eldritch evil. Okay. So it's or, less like or weather control. Oh, okay. oh, our man. secret our secret machine that controls the weather. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. I don't actually want to like touch on like real actual conspiracy theories. Yeah, real evil or conspiracy theories. I like the idea of a shadow council that's like releasing demons or like Satan or something that's not real. But right, that like that meat substitute. Yes. I'm sorry. It's the... Oh, that's wait. That's today's feed, then, isn't it? It hasn't even gone online yet. I know. Okay. I put it up yet. Anyway, sorry. Okay, so Elder like, Tor. Elder Tor. Okay, so so it is decreed then. So like, what sort of like uh... the stars are right? Mm. Yes. Yeah, so the divinations have returned, and the star or the auguries are correct. Ooh. Yes. Yes. The divinations. What? We shall. The divinations have revealed that the stars are right. Yes. We the shall... ritual will, be, will commence midnight. To release, you know, his, his highness Lord Ball or yeah. something. Yeah, you know, what's a what's a what's a Lovecraftian sounding old one that's not actually, or just yeah. There's always like you know the nameless horror. <laughs> yeah, the nameless one would be released. Well, we could just Ain't do like so, we we could just do some sort of like obscure demon. Hold on. Let me just... Do, 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 do. Bumbo. No, Bumbo is not... That's what makes it so scary. Wow, it's whoa. It's not as scary as... Krav Maga. <laughs> Haster, that's a real one. Yeah. 
is anoff a joke that I'm missing, or does it just sort of sound like anus? Sorbo. Odium. Bonethonotep. Bonethonotep. I mean, it could be a real one. I'm actually looking up the Mega Ten Wiki. Why not just look up a list of Lovecraft monsters? I'm not cool. He's just the hungry one. Nyarlathotep. That's yeah. a real one. Yeah, yeah, I know. The, uh... Twitch chat. No. Bulbalon. Alright, you work on a name. Some sort of, like... Uh, indeed, brother. The what was I? I like auguries. That was good. Yeah, auguries. Um, the like the auguries bode well mm, for uh, so gross. The auguries bode well for like um uh for our total yeah, domination for, or yeah. Uh, uh, the auguries speak now of the end come the end to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the end time. Yes, there we yeah. go. Yeah, I mean, you can just do like a sort of a descriptive name. Like the, you know, the one who watches. Mm -hmm. or something like that, you know. The Great Hunger. How about, how about Emeritat, The Great Hunger? Emeritat? Emeritat. I'm looking up, like, sort of, like, this is from the Shin Megami Tensei game Demi Kids, which I don't actually think came out here. But this is, it's a demon in the series. It is one of the Amentia Spentas from uh, Zoroastrian mythology. So it is a real demon. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think, I, I, I think just the name. I think the name works well. She who lives in her name. What would you? What did you say? The it was like, like the it's like the hungry the the hungry one or the bringer of doom. The, hungry. the bringer of dark times. I like the hungry one. So I was like, uh, the I absence within. I'm on the wrong shadowy council. It's like whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 wait, sorry, sorry. what? I'm uh, no, who puts down a phone is like, sorry, what was that part? At the wrong shadowy council. Yeah, yeah. like I'm and then, and then the yeah, and they repeat council. their like blah 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 the na na na. Yeah, and then like they give it a couple other like even worse sounding nicknames, and yeah. it's like, I think I'm in the wrong meeting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I like, like I, I like the idea that they they like pull down a phone and they're like, sorry, what was that last part? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, Sorry, what? Hang on. What? I wasn't listening. I like the hunger that burns. Also, the butcher of discord. <laughs> oh, that's good. Just because it doesn't actually make any sense. Yeah. It's like, wait, you give the, you you kill discord? That's good, right? <laughs> yeah, I like it's just like ah uh, yes, the star the stars are right, the auguries have aligned, or whatever like that. Yeah. We shall summon forth blah at midnight, uh, at midnight of the of the eclipse, mm -hmm. and it's just like. Sorry, what? Yeah. The Could you, the eclipse. Yeah. Midnight of the eclipse to bring forth and like give this give this thing like three more ridiculous names. It's yeah. like mm. I am at the wrong meeting. Ooh. I am supposed to be I am at the shadow I am supposed to be at the shadowy council meeting that fixes that does bleh. Yeah. And it's like, ah yes. Three doors down, room yeah. two B. I'm so well, sorry. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I, I, I like the one where it's like... That's, no, that's in meeting room Osiris. This is meeting room Hastet. <laughs> <laughs> they, you don't have this meeting room for another 20 minutes. <laughs> I, I like the the gaping dragon. Pretty good. That's, that's from, from Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Nice. Uh, so, <laughs> the beast that... Uh, I, 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 I am at the wrong shadowy council. Are you not a brother of the clan? Which uh, which uh, which clan is that? <laughs> the uh, yeah, just the yeah. I like I like I like. Are you not like or it's like yeah like a, a brother? How about like the, brother of the maw? A brother of the order or just, just like or, yeah, but it's like a super generic. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. Clan. Yeah, it's like yeah. No, the servants of uh, yeah. 
the servants of yeah. the, ooh, the roaring silence that's good mm. yeah any any uh the servants of the roaring silence the butcher of discord i uh the the who now <laughs> i'm sorry i thought we were planning the weather machine yeah and i was like the... I, I actually do kind of like i am on the council of you know and he gives his name it's like what do you do we fix video game score re- review scores it's like keep that evil shit out of here yeah <laughs> the hunger that burns the grantor of sorrows oh no i uh Oh, no, I, uh, is this meeting room? I'm, I'm here to fix stock market results. Yeah. I think it should be even more innocuous. Yeah, the, 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 the like, video game scores is kind of fun, mm-hmm. I think. Or just, like, reviews in general. Mm-hmm. Here to fix review scores? Yeah. Sure. And then, like, you don't, uh, like, oh, you guys don't have this room until, like, yeah, 2.30. Yeah. It's like, it's, oh. Isn't it 2.45 now? No. Yeah. No, it's 1.45. Yeah, it's saving. I'm just going to copy the word shadowy figure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it daylight savings this weekend? According to the people who last had this meeting with us. <laughs> Since when is it daylight savings? I do like that. Yeah. Those guys are the worst. Yeah. Since the Sidereal Council concluded at 11. I hate or those since guys. the Sidereal Council broke for lunch. Sidereal? Yeah. Is it, it means day? Uh, it? It's like uh, day passage? Uh, sidereal is... Uh, um, it's the adjective to do with... Uh, galaxy basically or planetary movement according yeah, to the, the according to the shadowy council star related mm-hmm. according to the shadowy council who was in here before us yes uh, why is nobody on slack <laughs> <laughs> or just like we have a sign up sheet for or no I guess that doesn't because the, the idea is that he's on the yeah, it's saving. It's not that they're... It's like, what? It's like, since the Sidereal Council met at 11 a.m. It's like, what? Nobody They nobody wanted to break me. early for lunch. And it's like, what? Since when? It's like, well, it was posted on the Slack. <laughs> I do like it was posted on the Slack. Kind of. <laughs> so, uh, so we've got, okay. So it is decreed then. The divinations have revealed the stars have aligned in the ritual to release the hungry one. Uh, maybe, Kathleen, you want to read for a shadowy figure two? Okay, wait, that, but that sentence doesn't scan. It is decreed then. The divinations are revealed, the stars have aligned, and it is time to begin the ritual or something. And oh, the stars have yeah. aligned four. Sorry, for the ritual to release okay. the hungry one. That's it. Okay. Indeed, brother. The auguries speak now of the end times. Um, I... I'm at the wrong shadowy council? Are you not a brother of the clan? Which, uh, uh, which, which clan? Maybe not clan. Plan? Uh, order? Yeah, order. Um, I actually liked it better where they were, where he, instead of, like, he was, him being at the wrong shadowy councils, and they're like, I feel like, I feel like there's like, yes, we shall release blah, and, you know, and it's like, sorry, what was that? Like, I preferred that reveal to him just being like, I'm at the wrong thing, right? So you get a bit more set up. Like, how you had it originally was, I like... Did, this is how I had it originally. Okay. Well, I thought what we were brainstorming was that they are like, yes, now is the time to blah, blah, to do a thing. And and then he, instead of he was like, sorry, what was that? And then they sort of, like... No, this is this is what we had originally. Uh, if it changed, then I, it's cause I was writing and wasn't paying attention. Yes, okay, that was happened. I think the way that we were brainstorming might have been funnier. Okay, tell me how you were brainstorming it, because I wasn't listening. Okay. It's like... Shadowy figure one, it is decreed then. The divinations are revealed, the stars have aligned for the ritual to release the hungry one. It's like, indeed, brother, the auguries now speak of the end times. Shall we, so, so it's like, so, so the rich, or like, this line might need to change. Like, the ritual will begin at the eclipse then to release bleh or something, right? And it's like, and then shadowy figure's like, sorry, ritual, what? And it's like, to release bleh. 
Bo-da-da-da-da. Like, three ridiculous names. And it's just like, I am at the wrong Shadowy Council meeting. Right? Oh, okay, because we had that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Uh... I, I do like that they're he's dropping his phone because he's not paying attention. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, sorry, I'm really trying to figure this out now because I had it all. Just a second. Yeah. So initially confusion, then the, then the, then the shadow, then the the then the thing drops, right? Um. Sorry. What? Uh. So this is. So this is different. That that doesn't go there. So it's um sorry, what the help me out here? Uh yes. And maybe it's like release the hungry one. The augury speak now of the end times. And just flip flip so it's like the stars have aligned. Uh, it is the end times. Indeed, brother. The auguries tell us now is the time to release the hungry one. Okay. And then he's like, sorry, what? And they're like, the, hung the hungry one, the na na, -na the, grant the, hunger th the hunger that burns, the granter of sorrows. Granter of sorrows. Yeah. Oh, hey, my sorrows. Sweet. And so what, what? How does this line start now? It's like, sorry, what? Release. Uh, Shadow figure two. Release. No, it needs something else at the beginning of that line. Yeah. Like not not just not just release the roaring of sun. No, like it needs to be like, uh, it is. Um, we're on, we're on item three. Releasing the roarer of silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We're uh, hold up a piece of paper. Yeah, we're we're currently on item three. Right. Item three of the agenda. Mm -hmm. I think just agenda item three. Yeah, agenda item three. The release of the roaring silence, the butcher of discord, the who? Sorry. Yeah. The hunger that burns, the granter of sorrows. Uh, I, I, I am at the wrong shadowy council. Are you not yeah, a brother like, of the order? Like, I, I am so sorry. I am the wrong shadowy council meeting. I'm no, no just I, I am at the wrong shadowy council. Yeah. yeah. Are you not a brother of the order? Uh, no, I, uh, I, I'm here to fix review scores. I do like video game review scores. Okay. I <laughs> just took that out because someone said to take it out. Oh. Um, I was a suggestion. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, you guys don't have this room till two thirty. Isn't it two forty-five? It's one forty-five. What? I wait. I just flew in from Des Moines. Is it daylight savings this weekend? According to the shadowy council who was in here before us, yes. <laughs> just, damn it. Damn it, honk. <laughs> <laughs> um. Instead of shadowy council, did you say sidereal? Like uh, according to the sidereal. The sidereal... I don't know um, what that word means. Star-related. Oh, yeah, okay. It's, it's, I looked it up. It's the system of tracking celestial bodies across the heavens. Okay. It doesn't matter if Daylight Savings now... It doesn't matter if the Daylight Savings this weekend goes forward. Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter. Yeah. It will be, it'll be ending Daylight Savings. Then. Yeah, but you it's you never say... it's Whenever you refer to Daylight Savings, you just know by yeah, context by, whether it's yeah. forward or backward. Yeah. So. yeah. Um... Sidereal? S I D E R E A L. Okay. According to the Sidereal Council who was in here before us, yes. Is that shouldn't it shouldn't it be Shadowy Council though? Like there's this other just that it's all shadowy councils? Just like like Sidereal is what they would be dealing with, but shouldn't yeah. it for okay, the yeah, for yeah. the joke shouldn't it be like, well, according to this other shadowy council? Yeah, like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're you're right. Yeah. I like that. That they're all just kind of referred to each other by generic titles. Yeah, we're all we're all shadowy councils. Yep. Yeah. 
That's why so we rent in, rent in this incubator. It's the problem is, yeah. yeah, it's a little it's a little too shadowy. Yeah. It's difficult <laughs> to tell the difference because of all the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's really dark. Yeah, according to the Shadowy Council who isn't here before us, yes. Damn it! I mean, it was, I do kind of like, it was on the slack. But that might be... <laughs> Just to further contrast the workings of Shadowy Councils with, like, meeting rooms and an agenda and a slack. Right? <laughs> Some on the message board. Like, well, I'm gonna go get coffee. Mm -hmm. I also like that this other shadowy council is like really like moving through their agenda quickly. It's like they've had the room for 15 minutes and they're three items in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the first item was just like accepting Why is the this... minutes from the last. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Second item is like Terry had some stuff that he had to deal with. So he's not yeah, here this like, week. Yeah. Since Terry would like to through remind the... everyone that anything in the fridge with his name on it belongs only to him. He, he's lactose intolerant, it's, and he is very sick of you guys eating uh, his special cheese. Yeah, it's definitely getting uh, his soy cheese. I mean, it is definitely uh, reminiscent of sort of a, a, it's a it's sort of a Terry Pratchett style yeah. joke. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad, but no. I I I like this though. I think like we can just honk it here. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, just honk it there. Yeah, well, just, why don't we just read give it, it a actually? Honk. So. Yeah. I'll be shadowy figure two. Mm -hmm. All right, can you want to read for shadowy figure one? Yes, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so it is decreed then. The divinations have revealed that the stars have aligned for the end times. Indeed, brother. The auguries speak now. Uh, speak now. It is upon us to release the hungry one. Sorry, what? We're currently on agenda item three. The release of the roaring si silence. The butcher of discord. The who? Sorry? The hunger that burns, the grantor of sorrows. Ah, uh, oh, I, I am so so sorry. I'm at the wrong shadowy council. Are you not a brother of the order? Uh, uh, no, no. I'm I'm here to uh, fix video game review scores. <clears throat> oh, you you guys don't have this room until uh, two thirty. Isn't it? Isn't it two forty five? It's one forty five. Oh, wait, I just flew in from Des Moines. Is it Daylight Savings this weekend? According to the council that was in here before, yes. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think we, now, not far be it for me to make things complicated, but I think you need more than two, three people to have a shadowy council. Like, I feel like there should be, like, more shadow counselors in this sketch. They would just need... Mm. Like you mean like more? I think we can imply the presence of more of them. I don't think we can have a wide shot. Is the thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like we can, we can, the we could always put in like a lot of like murmuring in the background. We mm -hmm. could, well, we could switch like one or like we could uh, shadowy figures one and two. We could add like a third shadowy figure. A, a, we could add like, like a fourth or fifth uh, person and just take one or two of those lines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's just a matter of trading the robes around. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, we could each take a turn as a shadowy council member. If we film it on the green screen, then we could like also put us in like a cavern or something. It's not like that. Although a meeting room is funnier. Well, it would just be it would just It'd be, be black void. Black void, right? Mm -hmm. So that you don't see what's going on. Yeah. Because you yeah. should like the Deus Ex. You shouldn't like. be able to see. Yeah. Because if you can see, then that if you can see that it's a meeting room, then it ruins the joke. And if it's yeah. a cavern, then it's not a meeting room. Yeah, exactly. It should just be like the top-down spotlight. Yeah. Kind of looking thing. Yeah. Uh. uh so. I guess you could actually. You yeah. You could just like, like if we if we have green screen footage of just hooded figures standing, you can just like copy a bunch of people behind. Yep. Um, yeah, that's true. Alternately, to like sort of like break the illusion a bit more visually, what you could do is when he's checking his watch, he actually takes up his hood and he's like, "Sorry, what?" Like actually, like takes well, up I, his hood. So I think like the robe, better. having like a like moving the robe aside and having like an Apple Watch and like. Hmm? So yeah, we know chorus. You could literally do the script with a blank black video. That's true. More titles for the horror. I think we have a, we have five. Yeah. yeah, I think that's enough. Hold on, can I just uh, scroll up to the top? I think this line needs speak now. That it is upon. 
The auguries speak now. No, the auguries speak that now it is upon us to release the hungry one. That's just very hard to read. How do you want to word it? I think just... Maybe just to, like, put a period in there. So, the auguries that speak that now it is upon us to release the hungry one mm -hmm. is technically a correct sentence, but awful to read. Well, I mean, it's meant to sound super archaic, like, right? Yeah, okay. You know, it's like the auguries yeah, speak that sound now it is upon us to release the hungry one. It's like that sort of All right. tone. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, all right. We're going to... Boy, God, it's 2.15. We're going to take a break, Whew. and then we're going to come back and start start shooting this. So uh, <laughs> don't go away. Hello, and welcome back. So uh, we're going to be doing a shoot on the green screen today, which... Uh, I don't think we have done on a crapshoot before. Um, although, of course, you have seen this green screen. Um, and we usually do the editing part of the crapshoot on the green screen. Uh, so we're having to, because we had that all kind of set up to do the editing part of the crapshoot. Um, so we had to take that apart a little bit uh, and set up for having a council sitting around the table here. Uh, so we should probably move that light too, actually. Yes, we had to move this light when we did feed dump because it's too hot. Where'd that preview go? If we could move the it like, like, like here, yeah. uh, okay. here. Here. No. Even like one, one over, one, one thing over, and then have it face towards the green screen, that would probably work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm too short to move it. That's okay. I'm going to go get our robe, though. I was, was going to say, say, could, could you, you actually, actually take, take. Hey, everybody, could you take. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up? We're, it's janking out real good. Ooh, everything's getting janky. Oh, now we're back. We're all right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, Kathleen, could you take them to the costume room to grab the, the big the big robe? The, 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 the brown robe? Yeah, the Jedi robe. Costume time! All right, our costume room has seen more organized days, that's for sure. But luckily, it's still pretty organized from the last time that we put stuff together, so it shouldn't take too long to find this robe. This is our crokinole table, which I've still never played. Where is our brown Jedi robe? Here's the robes. I, I do not see the Jedi robe. It's not folded up with the Snuggies, is it? No, the Snuggies are separate just because the the Jedi robe stays pretty well in a hanger, but the Snuggies don't. But yeah, it's not here. That's weird. One second, I gotta take my... I don't have any pockets, I'm just holding onto my phone from earlier. First, let's do this. Then let's check with the Snuggies just in case. What's this? Fabric. Curtains. Fabric. That's a blanket. That's a blanket. It's definitely should be here. Let's just go through very carefully. There's a lot of stuff here, and it's easy to miss one thing. But irritatingly, all over... Well, actually, this is miss... This is misfiled because this is a lab coat, so take that out. We'll put that back later. So it could be misfiled, but I didn't. Aha! Okay. Phew! I was getting worried there for a second. But here's our best robe. I believe Jer used this once as a Jedi robe. 
It's beautifully made. I have no idea where it came from, but we've used it for, God, this, like, a long time at this point. Am I not mysterious? I can't, can't see shit, sir. Nice. Careful. Yeah. There's cores everywhere. Well, I can see straight down. Yeah, this is not practical in real life. This is legit a, um, this is a Jedi robe that, uh... Jer had. Yeah, this was, uh, Jeremy... I literally just told the oh, okay. story. Then no, he... no, I, you have more information than I do, so tell it again. Oh, he, he, he wore it to the premiere of episode one. Really? Yeah. This is a really nicely made robe. How did you Or episode that? two? No, yeah, it must have been episode two because he had the he had the Anakin rat tail. Did he like? Or no, it was episode one. No, because it was Obi Wan. Obi Wan had the rat tail in episode one, right? I've seen all of those. Yeah, Obi Wan had the had the rat tail. So did he buy this or did somebody? No, make no, it for no. Him? This was made. Who made it? Uh, him or Tally, I guess. Was Tally even sewing when that movie came out? IDK. But yeah, this was this was made for that, and then afterwards it was like, well, what are we gonna do with this robe? Well, loading ready run might need a robe. Yeah, this is a really good robe. It's really nice. So, oh, perfect. So, uh, uh, can you go lengthwise? I believe. So Cam's just brought in a, uh, a blanket for we the table. We have some dark blue blankets. Because um, if you or we have the dark blue curtains, if that might fit better. Uh, well, you just want to cut the glare, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. The issue we're encountering is, which we've had a problem with before, which I can deal with, but it's not great. Is that the uh, the table is a little shiny and it reflects the green, and so it sort of sort of reflects a little bit, and so is that another one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Let's let's do that then. Then we can cover the whole thing. We do two like this. This will be fine, because this will be dark enough that you won't see it. Excuse me, Kathleen. Okay, great. That's great. Uh, okay, Cam, I guess you, you're going to be counselor one. one, so if you want to sit at the end of the table. Uh, should we not have glasses on to for glare and reflections? You won't see your face. Oh, right, yeah. So it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't matter at all. I need to put back a, something that was filed in the wrong place in the costume room while I remember. I'll be right back. Look at who it's warm. It's Kathleen was just wearing it. <laughs> Were we saying episode one, by the way? Did wasn't it? That? Yeah. It wasn't episode one? I mean, if it was, then there was. it was definitely not Tally who made that, because that was yeah. 99. Yeah. We were still in high school. <laughs> Nice. So, should we, hmm, should we do like the, the light coming straight down? Because this is the weird thing is, because we don't have as big of a space as a real green screen studio, and ideally you, you want to be pretty far back from the green screen so that you can flood the green screen with light, but then still have the freedom to do your own lighting on the subject, which we don't have. Because what we'd like to do is have footage, or footage, light coming like straight down just here so we get like shadows and stuff, but I don't know if we can do that. Hmm. Um, although, actually, Kathleen, could you turn off these? It's the top one. I mean, obviously you can darken the footage of the person. It's hard to add lighting effects in post, though. But yeah. having the top-down thing. Where's the... Um, do you have another one of the of the ceiling clamps? Uh, probably. Where's that other fluorescent one with the doors? Uh, the one by the one post. Yeah. No, no, there's, no, there's one on a stand somewhere. Oh. oh, I don't know because I was looking for it when we were doing feed dump, and I don't know where it went. Studio B. Oh, is it Studio B? Okay. Wow, that makes sense then because uh, Ben's two dads were in there being loud. Uh, Cameron, you look very sharp in that hood. Thank you. I feel it'll be in this year. Yeah. I know it will be in this year. <laughs> it, it will be in this year. It hath been decreed. 
Do you want me to get the step ladder? Yeah. <laughs> so James, were you the one who found these like clamps that are basically designed to clip these things? Paul did. Paul, these are great. Good job. I was appreciating them the other day. Yep, they work pretty well. Um, turns out people often need to hang stuff from sub ceilings. Make sure that's tightened up on the clamp. Which this? No, the well, the, the clamp is tightened up against the top of the. Yeah. So that it doesn't open up. Yeah. Okay. Now, how do we power this? Let me get you with an extension cord. I think Paul's going to get one. I'm helping. I'm in the way. <laughs> I got a step ladder. Ow. How many years did it take us to get a step ladder for the office? What year is this? 2017. I mean, we had a. That's. A stool. We had a step ladder for a really long time, but this is a stool. It's more convenient. It didn't do. A stool wouldn't have done us any good at the old one base. Yeah, the ceiling was too high. Yeah. Can we do it? I wonder if we can do it without that light there. Without that one? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Because that's flooding more. Yeah. Uh, it looks a bit better. This one's still. Actually, uh, do you guys want to both come inside so we can close the door? Yeah. Because the door isn't shut. Somebody might want to grab the mic. Oh, yeah. You want the mic? Yes. Yes. Can you turn that one a little bit more towards the... This one? Yeah, toward, right, just towards the screen. It's going to look different on this camera than it is going to look on this one. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I know you just lined this up. No, no, it's fine. Okay. Careful, the, the cable is just going yeah. to I'm going to park my ass in a chair and not leave this office in a second. Like, until I, like, I'm, I don't want to go in and out. That looks good. We're going to need a... Yeah, I'm going to boom when you're ready for me to boom, but I'm just going to sit down and... and we'll need, stay we'll need a boom for that. <laughs> you said grab the mic. You didn't say grab the boom. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm you're very wary of all these cables. You're fine. Um, would it be better if this was more that way? More towards Cam? Uh, I think this is okay. Like, it's not perfect, but it's not going to... This is never going to be, like, ideal situations, mm -hmm. lighting-wise. It's also super dark on stream. Hey! Ooh. Do we... Spoopy. All right. Do we have XLR cable for that? In this room of all rooms, we should be able to find an XLR <laughs> cable, yes. I mean, I'm a little bit co more confident about going in and out past the, like, the light in the, the cable now. But I'm like... In my head, I'm like... Wham! Crash! It's like, no! Uh, so, um, we'll just do... We'll, this is going to be a more complicated shot, so we're only going to use this shot for, like, the very beginning of the video. So, uh, Cam, if you just want to do your first line okay. from this, then we'll get uh, people... We'll get a shot of someone sitting here, and here, and there, and there. Okay. Do we want more chairs, or... No. Do we just do it with one? Okay. No. Um... And then, then uh, the rest of the dialogue we'll do from uh, um, 
one shots. Okay. So uh, yeah, can we get an XLR cable for this? Uh, here's a short one. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, actually, that'll probably be fine. Kathleen, here's this. Whoopsies. Shit. Sorry. Shittles. Here's a headphones. And headphones. You might actually have to wear and headphones, honestly. All right, we've got to make sure this doesn't come across super quiet. Uh, no, because you can stand here. Because this thing just plugged right into the... Boom. All right. Now, do we have the light? We have the light. The mic is powered. Okay. Mm. Mic is powered, and it's not on the... Okay, it's not on minus 10 like it was before. Mm. We encountered an issue where... The audio on this mic came through like really, really weirdly quiet. And it turns out there's a setting on the mic that you can just turn it down. You can just take it down to minus 10 decibels, which is why it was so friggin' quiet. Kathleen's gonna stand there. I might need to move. I can move also. Uh, where do you wanna be? You wanna be over here? Over there. Sure. All right, Kathleen, stand there. No, just walk towards the camera and Heather can walk around you. It is, a literal, it is a literal rat's nest of cables in here. All right, can you mic up Cam and see how that sounds to you? Use literally that way. That implies we have actual rats. Exactly. Oh, Who are nesting? It is neither of those things. Wait. Let's talk about speech jamming. So, Cam. Hello, I am testing the audio right now. Hello, 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 hello. How are my levels? Am I peaking? No, I'm it's talking. real quiet, actually. Okay. It sounds good to me. So if you're going to boost the input, could you maybe take down the headphones? Because I don't want to be deafened. How's that? Testing, testing, continuing to test and that, say words out loud. That still sounds good and okay. is not too loud. All right. Okay. So my first line is... Your first line is... Let me just pull it up for you over here. Is the shadow being cast correctly across my face? Yeah, we, I can see, like, tip of nose down, basically. Okay, perfect. So, it's, so it is decreed, then. The divinations have revealed the stars have... The divinations uh, have revealed that the stars have... Al say, are aligned. The divinations have revealed that the stars are aligned for the end times. Okay. You, I, so it you is can, decreed, and you, then. And you can have your hands on the table if you want. So it is decreed, then. The stars have... Al the divinations have revealed that the stars have aligned for the end times. Or are aligned. So are you're aligned. not saying have twice in the same okay, sentence. Yes. Yeah. So you're getting good audio levels? Uh, yeah, it looks okay. Okay. Good levels? I just said that, yes. Yes. <laughs> I can hear nothing. <laughs> Sounds great, Kathleen. Well, all right. Okay, <clears throat> rolling, go yeah. ahead. So, so it is decreed then. The divinations have revealed that the stars, stars are aligned, aligned for the, the end, end times. times. Fuck. Can you, uh, once more, like, a little more... more uh, Stately. Stately. A little more yeah. ominous, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, so it is, is decreed, decreed then. The divinations have revealed that the stars are aligned for the end times. Nice. That's good. Okay. Are we still live? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Um, okay. I'm just going to look at. Hold on. What? Everyone, Everyone will hold. Hold. <laughs> Seems fine now. Weird echo again. Talk about, about speech jamming. <laughs> Chat's having a fun time. Uh, okay. So that's, that's that's line one, which is should be the only line of that character, character from, from this angle. angle. Okay. Now what? Just a second. Okay, cool. So, now, um, let's, uh, let's trade rows. All right. So, without moving the camera or the table, uh, we're going to take another shot 
of someone sitting here and there and there and there. Then we'll composite them together? Yep. All right. Yeah. Graham's got a plan. Yeah, Graham, I'm just going to fix your... Please is do. This, is this for audio? Or is no, it... there's no audio for this. Okay. I'll just stand here. So I'm going to, like, have my hands down because I've, I've, I'm, I'm, like, on my phone, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. So, um... Uh, Kathleen, can you just take a quick look at the camera there and see... Uh, yes, one sec. Okay, so your back is cut off. Do you want your full back? Because then you'll be able to see the chair. Uh, no, that's fine. Yeah, you can't flip the screen all the way around, eh? No. 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 Um, okay, and the edges of your robe are in focus according to the focus assist. Yeah, don't change the focus. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to hit record. All right. Okay, we're recording. Give me some, like, your hands are moving a little bit business. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep, that's like 16 seconds. Cool. Your turn. You can be on the opposite side of the table. I guess there may be some double up, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, you and James or Heather could be the other ones. I guess, that's true. Sorry. One sec. It's okay. Wow, it's warm in here now. Oh yeah, it's super warm. What's up? You can feel a little bit sniffly. In there, pretty snug, Heather. <laughs> it's a tight room. Oh yeah, that's definitely a lot closer than I thought. Can you? Can you scoot a little more to the end of the table? I don't know if we're going to be able to fit two more people in here. Eh, well, we'll give it a shot. Uh, can you um, slide your chair back and like scooch to the front edge of it so that the chair the chair back isn't visible? Yes. Great. Yeah, scooch right up on the table. And uh, pull the, the front of your hood down more so that it's... Yeah. And... And uh, pull your hands closer to uh, closer to you. Good. Okay. All right. Rolling. I guess maybe turn to look at Cam's character a little bit. I can't really make the hood move. That's it's okay. Turned. I can turn my whole body. No, that's fine. Just, just sort of sit there for a second. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. Evil. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Paul, you want to get in there? Sure. All right. So uh, shift that chair this way so that, Paul, so that you're straddling the table leg. Okay. There. And, and try not to hit the table, of course. Uh, let me move the step ladder, actually, just so Paul has more room to be Paul. <laughs> more room to exist. Well, just because you had me move the chair quite far back. Mm hmm so he wouldn't be able to do that with the step ladder where it was. Uh, Clinch Eastwood, no, because the chair won't be visible on the in the shots. Just how it like kind of done up. Yep, that's yeah. how I did it. You'll have to sort of get your leg over the. Yeah. Heather, do you want to be our last cultist? Sure. I'll take, I'll hold the elder camera. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I sort of flattened the peak. Put the point the down? Yeah. Uh, and if you can just have your hands sort of to your side, actually. Or to the side? Yeah. That's good. You can uh, see a bit of his shirt, although... Uh, I can't. Well, I guess I can, but it's brown, so d I didn't really notice. Mm. And just sort of hold there for a bit. Okay. And that's good.
good. All right. Now the same on the other side. Okay. So. I won't. I won't put your headphones in my. No, that's fair. You got it. Chat gets to be the last cultist. <laughs> I uh, don't think that's feasible, table. but... I don't know, they're sitting right here. Sure. Yeah. You, the viewer at home, is the last cultist. Turns out it's man. <laughs> so, yeah, careful about the, not, not, not moving the table. That little edge of the fabric is not... is okay there. Yeah, it's fine. So I think, yeah, throw the robot and then sort of like rake her onto that chair. <laughs> it's easier said than done uh, to rake her onto a chair. Riker goes against smaller chairs and has much longer legs than and like two. Yeah, yeah. Chad, if you could just uh, Chad, if you could just stand still for continuity, that'd be great. I like this. Yeah, that's good. And then just sort of like step over the. We are the council of the Jawas. Yeah, and then you you, know, you got to actually step over the seat. Uh, or not right here. Get, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. It feels weird, but it looks fine. Don't worry. Oh, flatten your point. Here, I got you. Ah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> there we are. Uh, okay, and then uh, can you lean a little closer to the table? A little further back? Great, that's good. And just sort of hold there. Do, 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 do. Great. Okay. Uh, now we can uh, move the table. Or I guess, uh, unless you want to have the table as a thing to interact with. I like having the table as an interactive thing. All right, cool. Well, let's, uh, Cam, let's do your lines first. Okay. So. Oh, you're double hoodie. I like my hoodie. It's very comfortable. Uh, here, I got you. Oh, thank you. Change places. So, for this, the table doesn't have to move, but the table will be moving for the other ones, and I'll explain why when we do that. It's okay, Chad, you can move again. Is the table in shot? No. Here, it, it won't be, but... Kim wants to have it to interact with, which is fair. Are you okay? Everything's fine. You're just interacting with that table there. Yep. <laughs> just improving your acting. Mm -hmm. Acting! All right. Uh, line is, sorry. So, I'm gonna bring this up here, but it's not in shot. So, uh, well, oh, where are the headphones? Oh, here. So like your next line is, uh, to my character, who's on your right, mm -hmm. uh, the hunger that burns, the granter of sorrows. But you're so, uh, uh, this is in response to me going, the who, sorry? And you're like, the hunger that burns, the granter of sorrows. You're sort of still explaining. The hunger that burns, the, the granter of sorrows. Yeah. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. You good, Kathleen? You can probably get a little closer with the mic if you want. Yep, you're, you're good there. All right, rolling. Uh, the the who? Sorry. The hunger that burns. The uh, granter of sorrows. <laughs> you want to try once more? Ooh, without the finger quotes. No. no, no. <laughs> start the start the hunger that burns a little more serious, okay, and then yeah. maybe lose it a little in the second one. Okay. The hunger that burns. The uh, Granter of Sorrows. Nice. One more time, actually. Okay. <clears throat> the Hunger That Burns? The Granter of Sorrows. Great. Yeah, do the whips in post? Uh, I, I, I don't actually think that this needs to whip now that I'm thinking about it, because we have that establishing shot. Okay. So, um, so your next line is also to me uh, is, uh, are you not a brother of the Order? Uh, <clears throat> Are you not a brother of the order? And once more, a little more accusatorily. Are you not a brother of the order? 
and then, no, I'm here to fix video game review scores. And you're like, oh, you guys don't have this room until 2.30. Oh. You guys don't have this room until 2.30. <laughs> What's more, a little more of just like, oh, oh, you guys don't have this, you know, like, oh, oh. that explains yeah. it. Oh. You guys don't have this room until 2.30. You right. can hear Cam's hair rubbing against the hood. Oh. I'll, I'll not move then. Sorry. Okay. That's yeah. fine. Oh, you guys don't have this room until 2.30. Cool. And then your last line is, according to the shadowy council who was in here before us, yes. According to the shadowy council who was in here before us, yes. I hate those guys. All right. Well, according to the shadowy council who was in here before us, yes. Uh, if you want to do that delivery, we were talking through it. So. Yeah. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Well, according to the shadowy council that was in here before us, it, yes. <laughs> That's good. All right, cut. So, now, this is a weird thing, spatial relationship-wise, when you're dealing with the green screen. Because now, what we want to do is do an angle shot, like this, looking sort of across the table at where Kathleen's cultist or whoever is going to be sitting. But if we did that here, we'd be seeing the door. But if we do it like flat against the green screen, it won't be the right angle either. So we need to turn the table to like, kinda like sort of 45-ish against the green screen and shoot that way. Because you always have to have the green, uh, the green be like directly across from where the camera is. It's a little weird. Right. Do we, I mean, do we need to angle the table if it's not actually going to be in shot? Uh, well, just for how she's positioned. Okay. So, Cam, you want to give me a hand here? Yeah, absolutely. This is exactly so like watching um, yeah, there we go. Right. Right. Watchmen being filmed. It's exactly the same. Or the 300. Or okay. uh, Sin City. Yeah. Actually, the, the green screen version of Sin City is super interesting to watch. Sometimes the actors weren't even in the same scene. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. They had a lot of tables in those? Yeah. Here, trade you. They, okay. uh, there was a, my favorite bit from that was from like the Sin City blooper reel. Mm -hmm. There's a bit with, uh, it's, I think it's Jessica Alba talking to, um, uh, talking to Bruce Willis, but neither of them were on set at the same time. And, or maybe it was, maybe she was talking to Mickey Rooney's character, I can't. Or, or Mickey Rooney, Mickey Rourke's character. I can't quite remember, but uh, it's her on set in costume talking to a guy in just like a big, like really goofy looking green screen suit and all you can see is his face. And it kept cracking Jessica Alba up so much that the dude had to turn around <laughs> so that she wasn't looking at this dumb cut out face. So there's the shots where she's just like talking to this guy facing away from her in a green suit. So. So now I've got so I'm basically... I'm looking at somebody who's across the table from me, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm sitting directly here. What's up? Hi. And the shot looks that way. Alright. Hood down. Table up. That's the way we like to shoot. Are you in position? Uh, there you I go. That's think good. Think so, yeah. Yep. I can just see sort of your chain in the choker. That's, All right. That's about so it. the script. You are shadowy. Figure. Oh, could you uh, twist the chair slightly uh, so that it's no nope, the other way so it's hidden more behind you? Great. I don't want to see the chair. Too much hood business. That's fine. All right. Uh, so your line Rolling. is. Indeed. I got it, Cam. Okay. <laughs> your line is, indeed, brother. So this is to Cam. Okay. Who's to your le uh, to your right. So I yes. might have to, because you can hear people's hair rubbing against, I will move my whole body if that's okay. Like, yeah, that's fine. Like this. Yeah. So I'm going to lower So, my indeed, more. brother, the auguries speak that now it is upon us oh. to release the hungry one. The point on the hood. Be... Yeah. All right. All right, ready? Yep. Indeed, brother, the auguries speak that now is the time to release the hungry one. Could you be a little louder? I'm trying my best, yes. Indeed, brother, 
The auguries speak that now is the time to release the hungry one. I'm giving it the full, like, cultist business, right? Yeah. 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 So then I'm like, sorry, what? And then you go, we're currently on agenda item three. Does anybody have a piece oh, of paper? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I thought we had uh, something in here. Do we have any papers in here? I don't think so. <coughs> One second. Uh, 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 we're fine. <laughs> Hold up. It's the same thing I was using for the uh, pile of resumes on Loading Ready Live, which I realized I was totally looking at as if they were lines, but it's a script for a video that you haven't seen yet. So this is to my character. Mm -hmm. So Kathleen, it's, we're currently on agenda item three, the release of the Roaring Silence, the Butcher of Discord. It's really... We're currently on agenda item three, the release of the Roaring Silence, the Butcher of Discord. Yeah. I, I'll drop the cult business. I'll drop the English, as it were. Uh, a little bit. But not too much. Flatten your point. We should put a weight in the bottom of this. Mm. Right. You ready? Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, what? We're currently on... Nope. Sorry, I just need to okay. have this... You can't see the table, right? No. Okay. You can you can have that on the table. I wouldn't be able to see it. No. Yeah. I'm sorry. What? We're currently on agenda item three, the release of. Sorry, what were the two things? The release of the roaring silence. The, the roaring butcher silence. of discord. The release. Of, we're currently on agenda item three. <clears throat> we are currently on agenda item three. The release of the Roaring Silence, the Butcher of Discord. Nice. The who, sorry, what? The Hunger that Burns, the Grant of Sorrows. Oh, I'm in the wrong shadowy council. I'm the Brother of the Order, and I'm here to fix review scores. Oh, shoot. I think we missed that line of cams. Can we give it to me? The Oh, no, 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 we didn't. The You guys don't have the room until 2.30. Yeah. No, no, we did that. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Isn't it 2.45? And then you, Kathleen, it's 1.45. Can I borrow your watch? Uh, did we both have the, the same Apple Watch? Or can I borrow Cameron's watch? I forgot that... Yeah, TCU, I'm, that was a really good bit. I'm gonna do this... When you flipped in the, in the job interview, when you, when you said, we called ourselves not contributing to society in any <laughs> meaningful way. That was really strong. All right, oh, yeah, so, and then this is to your character again? Yeah, it's 145. Point. Okay. Uh, isn't it 245? It's 145. Can I do that a couple different ways? Yeah, you want to roll your actual sleeve up? So it's just the wrist and the watch? Yes. Okay. Isn't it 245? No, it's 145. Eh, that might be a bit too silly. Yeah. Point. Yep, I know. Isn't it 245? It's 145. <laughs> Let me do that a couple more ways. Okay. Uh, no, it's 145. That's good. All right. Cut. Okay. And then the last one. We gotta move the table again. Alright. Alright, one sec. So we can actually just take this and just angle it like that. Let me just I'll help you as soon as I get my foot off. Okay. Just so I don't trip on it, because yeah. it's quite long for me. Yeah, that's good. Get the chair over there. So, actually, if you could just take a seat there for a sec, I can line this up. Like right roughly. here? Yeah. You're going to have to straddle the leg. No, I can just sit there. Oh, I see, because the table's that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Okay. Trade your places. Mind the cable? Yep. Got it. 
Did we want to do? Uh, did we want to have um, two shadowy figures standing, uh, even more recessed into the shadow, like at, behind Cam in the wide shot? Let's shoot it, and then if we don't use it, we don't use it. Yeah, and we would take. They, they can literally be the same plate. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think having more more shadowy figures around is better. And when your yeah. watch is beside the spam. That is a sentence that yes. makes sense. I like watch how has been put where all our important things are. I like how variously immune to the sort of speech jamming yeah. we all are. I'm ready for yeah. my phone. Or did that. Your phone? I don't know where my phone is. Where my phone is at? That's kind of leave these. Or I can just use yours, Ken. Is it out in the this is fine. How weird does it feel to use that? It's so small. All right. So Kathleen, how's the how's the framing look? Uh, the framing looks good. You can see I'll just um, close your row a bit more up at the top, just so you don't see like the beginning of the LR logo. Okay. And, and uh, it should be mostly in focus. Yeah, the top yeah. of the the forward point of the hood is in focus. Is where that I'm here? getting. Yeah, that's yeah. that. That's what the other ones were as well. Okay. So I'm assuming that looks fine. I'm not going to change anything. <laughs> Somebody be like, "You have more. You're not center framed up. You've got more room on the right than the left, but it doesn't really matter because you're on a green screen." Uh, yeah, as, as long as I'm not intersecting with the sides of the shot. You are not. Okay. All right, so I'm going to hit record. Okay. Okay. So you are shadowy figure three. So uh, the auguries now. It is time to release the hungry one. And then your response is, "Sorry, what?" Okay. And you drop your phone. It is time to release the hungry one. Uh, sorry, what? Good. And then they give you some... If you bring your phone, like, does your phone actually light up your face a little bit if you bring it up? That would be kind of fun. Uh, I could if it turns on. I'm going to turn the brightness way up. Mm-hmm. How's that? Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Release the hungry one! Uh, I... Sorry, what? Good. And then uh, they say, the Butcher of Discord, and you say, the who? Sorry? Yeah. The Butcher of Discord. Is this to you? Yes. You're number two. I'm number two, yes. Yeah. The, the who? Sorry? All right, good. Uh, let's see. And then Shadowy Figure 3, back to Cameron's character. So you say, I... I'm, instead of apologize, uh, sorry, I'm going to say, I apologize, I'm at the wrong Shadowy Council. Okay. I, I, I apologize, I am at the wrong Shadowy Council. Great. I'm going to try that one more time. Sorry. Sure. Um, I apologize, my bad, I, I, I'm, I'm at the wrong Shadowy Council. And then they say, you're not a brother of the Order, and you say back to Cameron again, Oh, no, Ooh. I'm here to fix video game review yeah. scores? Oh, no, no, I'm I'm here to fix video game review scores. All right. Be more questioning? Right. Oh. Uh, uh, can you give me the feed? Yeah. It's like, are you not a brother of the order? Uh, no, no, I'm I'm here to fix video game review scores. Good. And then, you guys don't have this room until 2.30. And then, it's 2.40, it's 2.40, isn't it 2.45? Yeah. You guys don't have this room until 2.30. Isn't it 2.45? It's like, it's 1.45. says, so me. And then you say, wait, so wait. across the table now? Wait, I just flew in from Des Moines. Is it daylight savings this weekend? Cool. I, uh, I, it's 1.45. I, Wait, I just flew in from Des Moines. Is it is it daylight savings this weekend? People in chat are saying your point was up in the wide shot. Graham's was? I don't know if that's what chat's saying. Eh. It can fall down. Yeah, it's it's fine because it's it it won't be a direct cut, so it's okay. All right, so let's do that one more time. Okay. It's one forty-five. I oh wait, I just I flew in from Des Moines this morning. Is it is it daylight savings this weekend? That's good. And then, according to the Shadowy Council, and this is Cameron who's going to say that, so it's on your left again. According to the Shadowy Council, who came before us, yes. And your response is, damn it. Damn it! 
<laughs> Damn it. Hey, Steve. <coughs> he goes, Siri, call Dale. <laughs> Just like... Damn it! Sorry, I bumped okay. the boom. Damn it! And then... Damn it! Siri, call Terry. Just like the phone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's the what's the what's the name of an actual like video game journalist you could no. No, no, no. no. Alright, All right. and cut. Good. It's warm in that hood. Yes, it's very warm in that hood. Bleh. Okay. That was the whole thing. Oh no, wait. We're gonna uh, do those two quick shots of the person standing. Yes. Okay. So okay. I'm gonna move the camera back. Uh, you can unplug both of the things Cameron's plugged into. Ooh. Okay, one second. Cameron, right. there are your headphones. Who wants to be the shadowy figure? I was going to say, couldn't it literally just be you? It could <laughs> still be me. Actually, let's it's not have it be Graham, so Graham can set up the camera. Fair. Yeah. I can do this. All right, uh, here you go, Paul. There we are. I'm a shadowsman. Graham is the one who knows how to use the camera best. I'm at for a shirk responsibility. Can we move this a little further away? Yes. One, two, three, up. Terrific. So yeah, you couldn't really get much done like this. A lot of looking down. Uh, we gotta move this even closer to the camera. So it's out of shot. <laughs> you okay, Paul? Yep. Paul, your hood's up. I know. The hood goes directly into a light, catches fire. <laughs> the career ending footage of Paul Saunders. Uh, can you stand a little bit to your left? And uh, bring the hood way down on your face. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to tilt this a little bit. That's fine, because I'm not even getting the top of your head. Okay. I don't think there's any way to make... Well, okay. I, I, I can't see the top of the point, so it's fine. We should okay. actually sew a weight into that point. So just sort of stand with like, your hands, like, cross... Yeah, so yeah, like that. That's good. So it flops into the back of your yeah. neck. Sometimes you want to point. Like a small weight. It was designed to be worn with the hood down, mm. right? It was yeah. designed to just look cool with the hood down, like a Jedi robe, because they never seem to have them up that often. Um, and then maybe stand with your hands a little differently. You can't see my glasses, maybe that one? No. Ooh, nice. Cool. All right. Now a fun one. <laughs> now, now a goofy one. Okay, everybody, come on. Okay. I was, I was realized we nobody could see the funny face I was making. Right. <laughs> We've now shot that whole thing, and so now another br break for us to now reset the room that Paul oh. had laboriously made sure was set up for this, uh, and then we'll come back and edit it. So don't go away. Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back to now editing this crap shot. So this is going to be interesting. Um, I like working with uh, green screen stuff because it's always a unique challenge. Um, and uh, for like really, like really precise green screen stuff, we tend to use uh, After Effects. Um, but Final Cut Pro has a surprisingly robust uh, green screen filter in it now, which it didn't used to do when it, before it became Final Cut. Pro X. <laughs> so um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually um, put together all the dialogue that's not from the uh, the wide shot, and then we'll 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 go to the wide shot as the last thing we do. All right. So this is all of my shots, all of Kathleen's shots, more Kathleen's shots, and these are Cameron's shots. I can all right. Tell whose shots are whose. <laughs> so we'll just chuck all these down there, and. Uh, well, before we do anything else, we'll make sure that they're coming out of both headphones, mm. so so as not to annoy everybody. And uh, turn them up a little bit. Okay. I can't hear anything. Uh, no. Sorry, what? There it is. Okay. Yeah. Well, I wasn't making noise yet. Mm -hmm. So.
All right, I forgot to bring the chat up over here. One second. That's not the chat. There's chat. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, what? There we go. So I'm just going to roughly chop out the relevant uh, voice lines here. The, the who? Sorry? Uh, and then we'll deal with a more refined edit in a moment. Hmm. I, I apologize. I am at the wrong shadowy council. Um, so you, hmm? Is there just a point you hit where you can recognize the waveforms? Yeah. Hmm. Like, I can tell that here I'm talking, and here I'm talking, and these waveforms look similar enough that it's probably the, same, the same line, line twice. Right. Yeah. Um, I apologize. My bad. Uh, I'm I'm at the wrong shadowy council. I think the first delivery that's better. I I apologize. I am at the wrong shadowy council. What do you think? You think you like I, the like the sort of the laughter of embarrassment or? Yeah, I think I like the sheepishness. All right. Yeah. Uh, I. Like the 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 same tone of voice you would use to apologize after you realize you've wandered into the women's bathroom. Yeah. Ooh. No, no, I'm I'm here to fix video game review scores. Uh, no, no, I'm I'm here to fix video game review scores. Good. I like that reading. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Two forty-five. It's like it's one forty-five. This. And then that's the only delivery of that line. And... Flew in from Des Moines. Is it? I. Oh. Uh, Wait, I just I flew in from Des Moines this morning. Is it is it daylight savings this weekend? And then uh, what reading of this do we want to go? Damn with? it, Siri called Terry. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I really like called Damn Terry. It. We've got options. Damn it! Siri called Terry. So we can do one of those as the outro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. I, no, it's 145. So Kathleen did a couple different varieties of this. Uh, I think this one's... I, no, it's 145. I think that's the best take that she did. Yeah, like, it's very clear what's going on. and Yeah. It's 145. I think I prefer... That might be a bit too silly. Yeah. No, it's one forty-five. Yeah, I think she, I think she, I think keeping the hood on is best. Hmm. It's one forty-five. Yeah, no, yeah. So the, we'll we'll stick with the one. Yeah, that the final already, one already flagged great. there. Uh, Did we both have? Three? We are currently on agenda item three: the release of the Roaring Silence, the Butcher of Discord. <laughs> Uh, and that was the only thing from that take, because mm-hmm. we had to stop to get the papers. And then this is me going to get the papers. It's really, really good. Just, just, just screw it right through really there. Good, right. Drink less beer, Graham. Indeed, brother. The auguries speak that now is the time to release the hungry one. All right. Mm-hmm. And your line is, <laughs> indeed, brother. Yeah, that's actually the only the one. The auguries speak. All right. Indeed, brother. And now it's all Cam's dialogue. Well, according to the shadowy council that was in here before us, it, yes. <laughs> I do like the uh, yes. Well, according to the shadowy council that was in here before us, it, yes. According to the shadowy council. Yeah, I'm not happy about it either. Us, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys don't have this room until two thirty. Oh, you guys don't have this room. Oh, oh, you, oh. you guys don't have this room until two thirty. Yeah, and no, I like this one because you're more sort of like, oh, these guys. Right. Oh, you guys don't have this room until two thirty. Yeah. Grantor of sorrows. <laughs> is, this, is this a line? Are you not a brother of the order? Right. Yes, that is a line. The grantor of sorrows. <laughs> I wasn't sure if the finger the quotes worked. that burns. The grantor of sorrows. <laughs> the hunger that burns. The uh, grantor of sorrows. 
That's, I think, better, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think that is a better delivery. I thought I really flubbed that one, but it actually works. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we'll just arrange all this. So it's, sorry, what? Indeed, brother. The auguries. Right, so that's actually the first one. Hungry yeah. one. Uh, I, sorry. Sorry, what? We are currently on agenda item three. The release of the Roaring Silence. The Butcher of Discord. The hunger that... And then I'm like, the who? The... Yeah. Hmm. The... The who? Sorry? The hunger that burns? The, uh, Granter of Sorrows. Are you not a... Uh... I'm in the wrong thing. Remember the order. Uh... No, I'm here to fix video game review scores. Oh, you guys aren't here until, until 2.30. Let's see, 45. Uh, Kathleen says it's 145. And it's this thing. There and probably not that one. All right. So, roughly. Indeed, brother. The auguries speak that now is the time to release the hungry one. Uh, I'm sorry, what? We are currently on agenda item three the release of the Roaring <laughs> Silence, the Butcher of Discord. The. The who? Sorry? This will be tightened up. The hunger that burns? The, uh, granter of sorrows. I, I apologize. I am at the wrong shadowy council. Are you not a brother of the order? Uh, no. No, I'm, I'm here to fix video game review scores. Oh. You guys don't have this room until 2.30. Isn't it 2.45? Uh, no, it's 1.45. I, oh. Uh, Wait, I just, I flew in from Des Moines this morning. Is it is it Daylight Savings this weekend? Well, according to the shadowy council that was in here before us, it, yes. Damn it. All right. Yeah, so, okay. so everything's in the right order. So that obviously all needs to be tightened, and uh, we'll deal with that mm -hmm. uh, in a second. But first, uh, for the big the big one, yeah. let's, uh, let's put this whole thing together. So first of all, uh, let's get Cam's dialogue in there. Which should should start here. So it is decreed then. Yes. Also. So it is decreed then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. All right. And. So it is decreed <clears throat> then. The divinations have revealed that the stars are aligned for the end times. Terrific. And then we've got one. The Council of the Jawas. <laughs> Three. Four other layers in that order. Okay. So let's just uh, make everything the same length here. Clear out all the... And mute all of these because we don't need any of the audio from them. Mm -hmm. And now begins the fun stuff. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to hide all those and deal just with Cam's shot for now. Mm. So let's grab this uh, filter I was talking about under keying, if you're using Final Cut. Keyer. Boop. Ooh. Easy peasy. Now, uh, this actually worked out really well by itself, which is uh, not always the case. Mm. Um, uh, and yeah, by default, it puts a black background in. And then uh, I'm going to go straight into color correction for this because I want to make sure that uh, this all turns out okay. I'm going to darken it up a lot, make it a little less orange. Increase some of the brights. All right, so there's... It is decreed. There's Cam sitting in a darkened room. Like blue, make it like... Uh, yeah, we can make it. We can make it quite blue. I mean, it already is a little blue. We can make it very blue if we wanted, <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> the, and so the the color correction is applied after the chroma key. Yes, yeah, so you want to apply the color correction after the green screening, or else uh, what happens is that it messes up the green. Well, it's not a it's not a good option. Or, uh, mm. That's not a good example, but if you apply it beforehand, then you're going to color correct the green screen 
and change the color of it, right. which yeah. is not which is not great. Uh, now, Mangle Pixel put together uh, these backgrounds, a darker one and a lighter one, uh, which I can throw in there, but the uh, the issue, it's sweet looking. It is decreed. Uh, the issue being that um, I don't know what we use for these angle shots. So uh, I'll put it in, actually, you know what I'm gonna do is I'll put it in here for now just so we can see when something's being keyed through, hmm. but we might not actually be able to use it. We could always just do the Spielberg and use the same background so. across mirrored shots and not care. Yeah, it's true. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Apologies, chat. Now, the keen-eyed amongst you will have noticed that, yes, the boom is in shot, <laughs> uh, as is part of Kathleen, and that's fine, because we are going to mask it out. So... Actually, I think what I think what'll be easiest is just masking just cam out of this, hmm. uh, because the table will be taken care of by uh, the shots of other people. So that that's probably all we need of cam, but hmm. uh, we'll see. All right, so I'm going to copy that clip, and then take this clip off, and then do paste attributes. And I'm going to be what I'm going to paste to this is not the volume because I want the volume of this clip to stay silent and not the shape mask, but everything else. Boop, look. Oh, wow. They're sitting at the same table. Isn't that neat? And then... Sorcery. Do the same here. Boop. Look at them. It is decreed There's two people sitting at the table. They're maybe a little close, have revealed but... that the stars are aligned. But that's fine. And then we'll do the same for these two clips. Check it so out. So it is decreed, then. The divinations have revealed that the star all thought Graham's job was hard. stars are aligned <laughs> for the end. You can basically just click, <laughs> yep. yeah. make video. Make video. Yeah. It's so easy. So um, what you can also see there is Kathleen's, uh, I'm going to move these two up. Kathleen's shot there um, has, uh, some of the table is obscuring her hands a little bit. Hmm. So, uh, and it's this, because oh, yeah, this guy's yeah, in yeah. front. So I'm going to put a... Uh, shape mask on this one, and uh, pinpoint that region there, and then invert this mask so that it just chops that part out. Wow. So uh, You the, can do very precise things with this then. Yeah, so this shot now is this person, I'm trying to get that shape to actually, there. So it's this shot here, you know what I should do, just f to make it really clear what's happening is, um, well, blue doesn't, here, we'll do this. We'll put this in the background. There we go. So that's, that's what that layer is, is now that with that chunk of table taken out so that mm. Kathleen's shot doesn't obscure the, uh, her, uh, her hand there. Now, you notice you can actually see through part of the table, mm -hmm. and I realize what's happening there is happening on each of these things, which is the the fill the holes command uh, needs to be taken up a little bit to make the the keying a little bit better. You can also see some little shapes around the edge of her robe there. And you can actually, if you look really carefully right here where the mouse is, you can actually see the line of Kathleen's oh, yeah. back through this person's robe. So I'm going to select all of these clips and uh, I'm just going to adjust the uh, fill holes a little bit and it'll just improve some of the... So what does fill key. holes literally do? So, um... It's... <laughs> it finds holes and fills them. Yeah, um, let me see if I can find you a specific example, because it looks like this one... Uh, oh, it, it didn't do the fill holes. So, uh, it's gonna take any amount of green, and even though we put a uh, tablecloth on the thing the, mm -hmm. to absorb some of the green. There was still a little bit of green right. throw. Radiosity. Yeah, right. and so you can see that in the in the uh, tablecloth here and in my robe, hmm. right? Because it, what it, what this is doing is just any green, it's gonna make go partially away. Okay. And uh, filling the holes means that if there's a border, mm -hmm. it's gonna take everything inside the mask and just sort of fill it in to a degree. Okay. So uh, doing that, I mean, you can actually see it right. fill so, up as I do it, that it's sort of like, oh, this is not a thing you want me to mask then. So it kind of adjusts the sensitivity of the chroma masking? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Um, and so what was what amount was that? That was 0.73, so we'll just do a 0.73 on all of these. Uh, for some reason I thought that you could do it all at once, but apparently not. Hmm. And yours as well. All right. So now the shot looks like this. It is decreed then. Well, actually, the shot looks like this. <laughs> so it is decreed. Calls. Huh? There's standing calls too if you wanted to use them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's next. I realize that uh, some of these are a little... Some of these are a frame too long. All right. So it is decreed then. The divinations have revealed that the stars are... Yeah. Hmm. So now we also have, which James reminded me, standing Paul number one. Whoops. <laughs> which we'll put right at the bottom. Well, not right at the bottom. And standing Paul number two. So we dun, will. Dun, dun. <laughs> well, right behind him, right there. <laughs> it's very menacing. <laughs> that is weird, yeah. So these ones we will still mute, color corrector, same key here. So we'll do that. Uh, and so we're actually going to take both of these guys here and reduce their scale slightly so it looks like they're standing a little further away. Put them up so that we don't lose the tops of them. And then we'll take one of them. And, whoops, take one of them and move him over this way. And you can see a little bit of the chair there. Hmm. And we'll take the other one and move him over this way. Like that. Uh, I think I'm actually going to make both of them even a little smaller. Like that, uh, and then yeah, we gotta crop the chair. Crop the chair out, so we'll just bring in a right hand crop like that. Hmm. The no scope crop. Yep, and uh, let me just see if there's anything we need to bring in on the side here. I don't think there is, no, that's fine. Do we have to worry about them being weirdly in focus, or? Yeah, so I was actually gonna, I was considering putting a slight uh, blur on them uh, for that very reason because um, the people in the foreground are slightly out of focus as well um, so uh, what I'm going to do is blur uh, I guess just a so um, After Effects has a blur called like camera lens blur mm -hmm. that like perfectly emulates what a camera lens looks like honestly just a teeny bit of that's too much, but a teeny bit of Gaussian blur is generally enough to um, to uh, make it work. Mm. So we'll just take this down to like, I don't know, like 10? Yeah, 10's probably good. Mm. Uh, for some reason it only did one of them. Oh, it's going to say the other guy? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm also going to make these guys darker, so that they're more in the shadow. Like, quite a bit darker. Take their light highlights down. That's some good emoting, Paul. Just the crossed arms. It's very, <laughs> like... So it is decreed then. Whoops. Where's... Ah, he's a ghost. Oh, I see what happened. Started too early and I deleted... Uh, so the an this guy was anchored to this <coughs> clip, and when I deleted that clip, it deleted him as well, because he was anchored to that to the clip of nothing. Mm. So... You're trapped in the phantom zone. So it is decreed then. The divinations have revealed that the stars are aligned for the end times. Yeah. So if, whoops, someone also disappears too, too soon. Which of you disappears too soon? You. Get over there. 
So yeah, uh, so I think someone in chat was saying you could th we could theoretically add more. You know, we could add a ton more of these guys, just sort of like all lining in the background. But that's like that's maybe a little. Mm -hmm. the, the shot is pretty full already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could have people in the background of the other shots, maybe. But yeah. Uh, they seem yeah they maybe seem a little dark. I think reducing their highlights was correct, but I think I took their shadows down a little too much. Yeah, maybe desaturate them a little bit. I don't think they need desaturation, but uh, they could, they maybe, I think I actually went overboard even on 10 being too much blur. I think just a little bit of blur. Mm. We'll take them both down to five. This is where you get really, you, you could spend all day tweaking stuff like this. It is decreed then. The divinations have revealed that the stars are... That looks good. So, uh, also, uh, we can see that these... Um, uh, these tabletops are obscuring Cam's hands. Um, because Cam's hands are sitting on the table. Oh yeah, it's not behind it. Yeah. So, there's a couple different ways to do this. I can either put one of those masks on each one of these layers, or I can copy Cam's layer again to the very top, take out the, uh, the sound, and then just do a little crop like this to just, whoops, to just, there it is, just takes care of that. Huh. So that his the, uh, hands are actually on the table. Can you actually rotate that crop yep. too? Yeah, you can, you can uh, rotate it and the, uh, this, this here is how much it feathers. Oh, okay. So, I don't know, this is a really good example of... So you can blend it in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me actually just... Uh, render this selection so that it plays plays back better. This is taking a little while to render. Maybe I shouldn't bother with this. Anyway, so yeah. It, it is decreed then. Looks good. The divinations have revealed that the stars are aligned for the end times. Pretty good, considering that's all one costume. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so then... Indeed, brother. Uh, now to adjust all the timing because the rest of this needs to move a little bit more quickly hmm. How close are we to one minute? I don't know. I, this is probably going to be a uh, A plus hmm. uh, a maxi length crap shot uh -huh. We've actually gotten reasonably good at writing like Oops. One minute plus or minus a couple of second crap shots. Mm -hmm. Although I suppose that comes down to editing. Mm -hmm. Indeed, brother. It's weird. They just the auguries the speak that now is the time to release the hungry one. Uh, I. <laughs> That's good. I like that. The hungry one. Uh, I. Sorry, what? I like that. Uh, that it lingers. The shot lingers on me for a little bit while Kathleen's still talking so that you can see more of the reaction. The hungry mm. one. Uh, I'm sorry, what? We are currently on agenda item three. The release of the Roaring Silence. The Butcher of Discord. Mm -hmm. The the who? Sorry? The Reflects onto her face a little bit. Yeah, it does, yeah. The Butcher of Discord. The, the who? Sorry? Hunger that burns? Sorry? The hunger that burns? I'm just making all this, all these cuts tighter. I of sorrows. I I apologize. I am at the wrong oh, shadow. That one's a little too tight, actually. We council. Her of sorrows. I I apologize. I am at the wrong shadowy council. Are you not a brother of the order? Uh, no, no. I'm I'm here to fix video game review scores. Oh, review right. scores. Oh, you guys don't have this room until two thirty, isn't it? Two four five. Uh, no, it's 145. I, oh. oh no, Alright, so let me just see if they're... Isn't it 245? Uh, no, it's 145. I, oh, wait, I just, I flew in from Des Moines this morning. Is it is it daylight savings this weekend? Well, according to the... Sorry, this is really boring, but I can... <laughs> no, no, it's actually kind of interesting. I can do it more quickly if I just sort of, like, jam through it. 
daylight savings this weekend? Well, according to the shadowy council that was in here before us, it, yes. Damn it! Let's do soon there. Or not soon enough of a cut. All right. For us, it, yes. Damn it! Huh? Damn it! All right. Now to add the effects of all these shots. Whoops, not that one. So I'm going to paste the effect from Cam's shot and the color correction as well. The, the auguries speak that now is the time to release the hungry one. Uh, i sorry, what? We are currently on agenda item three, the release of the royal... Yeah, I do like Paul's noting how the paper reflects light up onto Kathleen's face for this shot, which I actually kind of like. Silence. Yeah. The butcher of discord. The, the who? Sorry? The hunger that burns? The, uh... Granter of Sorrows. I, I apologize. I am at the wrong shadowy council. Are you not a brother of the order? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm here to fix video game review scores. Oh, you guys don't have this room until 2.30. Isn't it 2.45? Uh, no, it's 1.45. Oh, uh, wait, I just, I flew in from Des Moines this morning. Is it, is it daylight savings this weekend? Well, according to the shadowy council that was in here before us, it, yes. Damn it. Huh? All right, so uh, actually that's from last time, so we'll cut that out. Okay, so now uh, some people were like, but wait, what about the guys behind behind Cameron? Well, obviously we haven't got there yet. Um, so I think this background that Mangled Pixel did, I think that this will actually work fine if uh, what we do is... Turn my brain. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is uh, zoom it in and then move it to the side like that and then make it a little bit blurry Ooh. like that now it's possible that in the side of Kathleen's shot here that we should see a little bit of one of these Pauls and I'm gonna play around with that so let's take a look all right Now this is where uh, we get to, um, here he is, we get to get away with some stuff because uh, you ordinarily would not want to make, make someone this high. Now whereabouts, so it looks like his hands are sort of a little lower than her shoulder height with the camera at this angle. That actually looks like a pretty good, uh, pretty good scale and positioning to be honest, but because this is a closer shot, he should be more out of focus. Right. Um, but not a huge amount. So, because uh, blurring something, making it out of focus, lets you get away with something of being of a scale higher than it should be. Uh, so this actually, I mean, maybe like this. That actually, I think, works. Now Indeed, that brother. The auguries like speak that now is the time to release the hungry one. Just another random thing. Yeah. Just so yeah, I think that actually totally just, like, works. Standing outside the window, looking in. Uh, so then, uh, we also let me get rid of these pinstripes. Don't need those anymore. Um, where's the next shot of Cam? Here it is. So Cam of Cam shot, of course, will have uh, both of these guys in the background. But again, we need to. Nope. Oh, wait. Nope. <laughs> Put this in front. There we go. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> so where were they standing there? So sort of shoulders almost in line with the head. This is a slightly different angle, mm -hmm. but they definitely need to be lower. So more like there-ish. Yeah. And more, more out of focus. And more like... There, and more like there, and also 
the background will be out of focus as well. Yep. This seems okay. Hmm. And then my shot has to have the same background, but the other end of it. And then the other Paul. I'm going to copy and paste attributes here. Not the effects, not the volume, the position is scale I want, but then I'm going to put them on the other end. Like that. Hmm. Hashtag left Paul. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this works. This is only, I've only done it for the first several shots here, but let's, uh, let's see how this looks. I think this will actually look pretty good. End times. Indeed, brother. The auguries speak that now is the time to release the hungry one. Uh, i sorry, what? We are currently on agenda item three, the release of the Roaring Silence, the Butcher of Discord. The... The who? Sorry? The hunger that burns? The... Uh... I think the ones in these shots, I think I think the poles in these shots are too tall. I think they mm. need to come down. I think the angles look odd. That looks, that, that looks better. Mm. That one's okay. They could come down maybe a little bit, though. All right. And then we just have to copy and paste it for the rest of them. So, give me a sec. Uh, if you see any questions pop up in chat, Cam, I can okay, yeah. talk while I'm uh, doing this. Um, uh, green screening. What a mess. Well, I'm glad we. Yeah, that's... I'm glad we did finally get to do. I mean, finally, it was going to happen eventually. I'm glad we did finally get to do uh, a green mm -hmm. screen uh, crap shot hmm. on the on the show. I'd like to point out that Graham is doing this all with a trackpad. Yeah, I really should bring my plug-in mouse <laughs> or my my wireless mouse. I so loathe doing this with a trackpad. Hmm. It's uh, you also definitely want to make sure that your. Uh, Timing is all figured out before you do this, because this is really irritating to redo. I can so, imagine. As I was happy enough with the timing that we worked out that I was like, okay, we're, we're good for final effects. Uh... Question from the chat, is yeah. this the same amount of work that went into the Staggeringly Fast Loans? Uh, no, Staggeringly Fast Loans was a lot more complicated mm -hmm. um, because uh, there's actually a loading time for, just for Staggeringly Fast Loans. Uh, it, um, because that's the one that had like multiple Pauls mm -hmm. and it also had the, uh, the thing with, um, we set up like a, a separate green obstacle in the frame mm -hmm. so that there was space for Paul to like walk, to like appear out of the green screen mat. Huh. Um, so that, like, yeah, there was a lot going on with Staggeringly Fast Loans. Uh, that should be it. Right, Paul needs more blur? On which, this one? Don't they have the same amount? Oh, Ooh, they do no. not. Wow, yeah. Well spotted. Yeah, wow, okay. Thank you, chat. Don't know why we can't do this all, all at the same time, but here we are. Okay. Let's give it a, let's give it a watch. 
So it is decreed then. The divinations have revealed that the stars are aligned for the end times. Indeed, brother. The auguries speak that now is the time to release the hungry one. Uh, I'm sorry, what? We are currently on agenda item three. The release of the Roaring Silence, the Butcher of Discord. The... the who? Sorry? The Hunger That Burns? The, uh, Granter of Sorrows. I... I apologize. I am at the wrong Shadowy Council. Are you not a brother of the Order? Uh, no. No, I'm... I'm here to fix video game review scores? Oh! You guys don't have this room until 2.30. Isn't it 2.45? Uh, no, it's 1.45. I... oh... Wait, I just, I flew in from Des Moines this morning. Is it is it Daylight Savings this weekend? Well, according to the shadowy council that was in here before us, it, yes. Damn it! Huh? Missing a background there. Yep, sure am. And I think there was a... Times. Indeed, bro. It looked... <laughs> nope, okay. I, I, for a sec, I thought there was a... Uh... Uh, Vanishing Paul? Yeah, there was a Paul that appeared incorrectly. You know, as Paul is wont to do. Hmm. He just turns up, walks aw walks out, walks away. It, yes. Damn it! Huh? Actually... I... oh... Wait, I just... You know, honestly, I think... I'm doing too much sort of awkward business at the beginning of this line. I think I can actually do... Oh, it's 1.45. Wait, I just... I flew in from Des Moines this morning. Is it is it Daylight Savings this weekend? That's better, I think, actually. Yeah. 2.45? Uh, no, it's 1.45. Wait, I just... I flew in from Des Moines this morning. Is it is it Daylight Savings this weekend? Well, according to the shadowy council that was in here before us, it, yes. Damn it! Huh? All right. All right. That's it. Oof. I really like the just like sharp drop drop off. Yeah. At the end. Yeah, I think I think it needs to go right to the honk there. Um, uh, Tino, yeah, I think it needs to. Uh, I think it needs to go right to there because I, I think it if it lingers on the damn it, it looks weird. It needs to be just like damn it out. Yep. That's my opinion anyway. And I'm editing it, so deal with me. <laughs> uh, okay, we did it, everybody. Yeah, we got there. Oh, boy. That was hard fought, but hey, mm. sometimes it is. Yeah. Creative stuff is not always easy. Um, I think before that goes live, I might try to find some sort of, like, ominous chanting. Yeah, yeah. Just something not chanting, but like... Uh, like some sort of, like... Like cavern noise or... Background... Like, yeah. Vocal drone to to fill that in, but um, uh, yeah. For now, though, let's welcome the subs. Mm -hmm. TXC two has reset for the twenty eighth month. Time to shoot the crap. And we did. Mm -hmm. Richard Erman with an eight month resub says, "Crabs to be shot. I'd rather pants to be darkened." Ew. Time Capsules resub for the 22nd month. Thank you very much, Time Capsule. Zeraina with a three month resub. Welcome back. Lord Xerox has resub for the ninth month saying Scrab Hoot. Oh, yeah, what are we calling this episode? With an 11 month resub. 11 months, that's almost seven years. Elihu Aran has resub for the 10th month saying it would be a total of 10 months. That's 10 months. The Accurate. Cursed Human with a 13 month resub. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Shadowbow464 is reset for the eighth month, saying playing the Switch while watching the stream. Nice. God damn it, Taskeen. Two month resub. Welcome back. Rex Deum Gladiatoris is reset for the sixth month. Thank you very much. Grand Llama Q with a 29 month resub. Yay, crapshoot. Best part of my pre work routine. Hopefully, you weren't late to work. Babrit 1030 is a brand new subscri subscriber. Welcome to the channel. Stoic Spartan with a three month resub says, huh? Yeah, what do we call this episode? Hot Liquid Jello has resub for the 19th month saying, oof, first month post second sub baby. They are quite the handful, but at least I got my finger back. Yeah, the council I think just works. Hmm. Sajuke with a six month resub says, may the auguries hype LRR till the end times. 
I don't think we have one called the Council. Code Gorilla has resuffered the 12th month, saying 12 months, whoa, I should get a shiny new arrow now, right? Yes. Nice. Yes, you should. Terra Child, with a six-month resub, says it's my cheese, damn it. Okay. The Angels Weep has resubbed for the 14th month. Thank you very much, The Angels Weep. Tracy77 with a two-month resub. Long-time fan. Glad to finally support you guys a bit. Thanks for the years of entertainment. Assorted silly goodness. Thank you. Appreciate it. Lunar Eclipse123 has resubbed for the eighth month, saying that's a good crab shoot right there. I did spell council wrong. RLUT1, pardon me. A new sub, welcome to the channel, RL Yoshi One. Dunny Zero has resubbed for the eighth month. Thank you very much, Dunny Knot. Shuffle Samurai, new subscriber, welcome to the channel. Meow Juhi has resubbed for the second month. Thank you very much. Shushi. Satchel One with a 39 month resub. Thank you so much. Punk Rock Zoologist has resubbed for 17 months, saying, Just started streaming last week. This is pretty fun. I see why you do so much of it. Might do some Dishonored 2 tonight for anyone whose time zones line up. Good luck. Yes. Neo Spoon, the new subscriber. A new sub, rather. Welcome to the channel, Neo Spoon. Thank you so much. Cap and Hat has reset for the 43rd month, saying, Oh, dang, I overslept to the VOD with me. <laughs> Hydra Wiggins with a six month resub. Shadow Council needs more mead. You cut one Wiggins off and two more show up. <laughs> Anti Muffin 42 is a brand new subscriber. Welcome to the channel. Acurus with a six month resub. Welcome back, Acurus. Tomasu82 is a brand new subscriber. Welcome to the channel. And thanks for 1,599 bits, Navicam, The Flying Dutchman, Rock Pusher, Valhalla Knight, and Malk. Thank you all so much. Such bits. Huh. <sighs> okay. All right. That Ooh. was a marathon. We're all going to go have a nap mm. and uh, come back in two hours Ooh. for uh, tonight's AFK, which is another... In, which is another um, in, uh, risk, risk I was going to say episode uh, installment. Mm. I was like, there's an inward installment of Risk Legacy, which is, if I, if I remember correctly, yourself, James, Corey, and Ian? Yes. All right. Vying for world supremacy. Yeah. This is episode four? Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. So come back for that in a couple hours. Until then, thanks so much for watching. Bye.